What's poppin' bagel bros and sisses, we're not sexist. Today, I'm joined by my friend, Neon Manta, say your username. <laughs> Neon Manta, what you already did. Yeah. Okay, true. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, we, off we to an amazing restart. start. A little... yeah. <laughs> nope, we're keeping that in. We're keeping that in, sure. <laughs> what? We, we can go with it. Yeah. So today we're going to be doing the Gen 2 Pokemon tier list because we're, we're going to go through all the gens and probably update it every, uh, every time a new one comes out. It's going to be an interesting journey. We're still at the games that we've actually played, but once we get to like post-Sun and Moon era... I'm, yep. it's gonna be my first time seeing most of those Pokemon, or like, or pro probably more like my second time, but it have been, it would have been so long since I'd seen the Pokemon that I would have forgotten everything about their design. So it'll be an interesting experience once we get to that, but for now, we still have our nostalgia glasses on, we're still seeing everything rose-tinted, and uh, I must admit, you, you had your admission last time of being a Gen 1-er. I'm I'm a Joe Toddler. Joe Toddlers <laughs> unite. Joe because Biden. for how you are with Gens 1 and 3, I am with Gens 2 and 5. Uh I think aside from Gen 4, uh Gen 2 with Heart Gold and Soul Silver is the second longest uh Pokemon generation that I've spent the longest time away from. Like I I know that I played Soul Silver more recently than uh, Diamond, which was the Gen 4 game that I played. I never played Platinum. So this is the one I have the furthest connection with, like the, for like in distance. Okay, so my experience with this generation. So as a kid, I would get really obsessed with things that I did not actually have access to for whatever reason. It was not what I played that I was necessarily obsessed with, though I was also obsessed with them. But it was also a lot of things that I couldn't play. And one of those was retro video games. And so one of the ones that I always wanted to play was Donkey Kong Country. And I even wanted an uh, SNES for my birthday at one point. I never ended up getting it, I forget why. But I was just obsessed with Donkey Kong Country and would watch full plays of it without commentary on YouTube back in the day when I was like six. I had a much, much better attention span when I was six years old than I do I, now because I, I can think never that was watch me with a commentary Waker. list. Uh, understandable because that game's art and aesthetic is absolutely beautiful. But I, I was obsessed with Donkey Kong Country and another one I was obsessed with was the Gen 2 Pokemon games, because it did not actually have a way to play them. However, I just, for whatever reason, clung on to Gen 2, even though I couldn't play it. And eventually, I did get around to playing it. I played it on the Virtual Console for the 3DS. I absolutely loved it. I actually tried playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver a while ago. This was like many years back. I never actually finished it because I got bored, Probably because I had already played it. Did you emu emulate it or did you have a physical copy? I had a physical copy on my uh, DS. God, God bless you, because you can now sell that for like $120, I think. Oh, hell yeah. If for, I'm ever for some broke, reason, I, I, I could this, sell this it. blows my mind because they're so high selling, but physical copies of the now the DS Pokemon games sell for you know, way more than you think. Yeah, that I never actually even knew that. Hold on, let me go into Amazon real quick. Do some uh, on yeah, look, during look the up, recording like a, a physical research. Physical copy of, of Heart Gold or Pokemon something, or even Diamond and Pearl, Heart and they'll be Gold. more than what they were retailed for initially because they were forty dollars when they came out. But now one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Can... Okay, that that must be for like a brand new me. sealed. That must be like a brand new sealed one. Oh, it was renewed. Okay. So that renewed goes for 200 bucks. That's unhinged. Uh, Pokemon Heart Gold Japan import. That's $100. Let's go for Heart yeah, Gold it, limited edition. So that would be 240. I, I'm I not sure how what makes it limited. Oh, it comes up with the it comes with the Poke Walker, yeah. So that's what makes it uh yeah, that that's what makes Crazy it so expensive. expensive. Yeah, but also uh, because I'm just built like that, I saw 240 and immediately went Nishio. That that's what the numbers for Nishio Eason are. 
Uh, just even, every time I see even the number in the Pokemon that's tier what I think. list, the bagel cannot go a single video without referencing Nisio Isi and Armonogatari. It is a, a head sickness. Listen, ever since I saw 240 questions with Nisio Isin, literally Nishio with Nishio Isin, uh, it, it's just been forever on my mind. I cannot unsee it now. Uh, I, th I think it's about time we, we get the tier list started. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come out with my hot take immediately. Gen two has the overall best starters in the series. Don't at me. Uh, okay. Are you talking base designs or like oh everything like evolutionary lines too? Everything. everything. Uh, Crunchy, are you, have you been huffing the goof juice? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm always huffing the goof. Uh, the goof juice. But everything? are you seriously going to uh, Meganium? Yeah, the 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 line I that love has Meganium, Meganium and Typhlosion. Okay, hold on. You you literally just said the two best versions of the Pokemon, pretty much. So, uh, what Do what you is think your Meganium's excuse? Meganium's the best one. I love. Okay. Backstory time. Chikorita has always been one of my favorite starters in the entire series. Like, damn near my favorite. I, God, is there one I like more than Meganium? Maybe, th th there's a few I'm thinking of that I won't necessarily spoil that have to do with other childhood memories. But Meganium- I can think of Meganium's two just right now that are better than and Meganium, regal. and I'm looking at them on the screen right now. <laughs> Dude, they're awesome. I absolutely love Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium. Uh, I will say the weakest line to me uh, considering you singled out Meganium and Typhlosion first, I'm sure you disagree with me. I think Totodile is the weakest line of the three. It is, uh, I, like, you must have planned this ahead of time because you somehow have the exact opposite opinions of what I have. Totodile is easily the best one here. Fuck off. Chick- Okay, Chikorita- it, it, my, my, my thing with Chikorita, Bayleaf, and Meganium is that I just really like how cute they are. I've always felt more of a connection to the cute ones than the cool ones. Like, I mean, yeah, way I mean, more. They're, they're cute, but I feel like Meganium's just so basic. Like, it it almost loses detail as it evolves. It, like, it doesn't progress past Bayleaf. It doesn't get more complicated. I mean, it doesn't get more complicated, but there's still progressions. Like, okay, the little it, they, seeds it trades out the little on seeds on its... the neck into a flower. Yeah. And then it loses the the cool ass flower on the top of its head for antennae. Yeah, but the antennae look big. Yeah, but I still like the progression. Like, sure, the leaf is super cool, but I don't know, man. Meganium's just really pretty. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's not ugly. I would uh, if you're thinking I, I would put it in piss tier, you're wrong. But <laughs> well, uh, okay, no, I would not put it higher. <laughs> there's than no way you're I, putting it in piss tier. No, 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 no. Uh, if, we're, if we're talking just Meganium, I would put it no higher than mid-tier. Oh, fuck off. I'd put all three of them in god-tier. In god-tier? You, you, you yes, in god-tier. You've been butt-chugging the goof juice. You, you're, out, you're off your bean if you think in all three of them are going to fucking god-tier. Sure, there's a chance that I'm heavily biased from my child- I mean, this entire- series of lists is supposed to be just pure bias from childhood memories when i was five years old i liked this pokemon bro so the gen the three line is better than all three of these lines the starters uh the gen three line well, well like all three of them yeah are, the, the are gen three, three of them are, are better are infinitely cooler than the all the gen two starters uh let's see we've got septile blaziken and swampert oh god what was yeah swampert uh, I mean, I like them. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a massive spoiler for the next tier list. Not really. You could probably already guess that, you know, they're just good starters. I, I will be, I will I, be glazing Gen 3 nonstop when we get to that in like a month's time, probably. Bro, I have this ethereal connection to Gen 2 and its starters specifically that will never leave me. Uh, it's I mean, just, I, it's I do have great. fond memories of being a kid singing along to It's a Whole New World We Live In. Uh, 
how much of the Gen 2 anime did I watch? Because that's one of the anime that I watched barely any of, uh, uh, any of did- from my memory. For me, it was mainly Gen 1, Gen 4, and Gen 5 that I watched the anime of. Uh, I fell off of the animes with Gen 7... Uh, Gen 6. I fell with Gen 6. I tried watching the Gen 6 anime, and I got so bored after 9 episodes that I couldn't continue. Mind you, this was when I wasn't a child anymore, and was just trying I- to revisit it. I ne- I need to revisit Gen Seven because that's when they implemented the style change and made it way more fun to watch. Yeah, I mean I've I've heard about that. Anyway, we're slightly off topic. Yeah, the point right. is, uh, all right, we'll we'll, we'll, I, we'll, I we'll keep we'll keep all, it to the all the starters life right now. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll we'll go in order for the sake of you know actually getting a Pokemon on the damn tier list. Uh, what is this? Still like ten minutes into the tier list video. Uh, all right, Chikorita. Wait, you you said you'd put Chikorita in God tier. I put all three of them in God tier. I've made this stance extremely okay. clear. Okay, well, I like Meganium the least. I I don't know if I like Chikorita or Bayleaf the most of the of the line. I don't like Bayleaf is I don't very like, dapper and cool. I I like how cool Bayleaf is. I just hate that it's yellow. That's the big thing but that's throwing me it's off. It's a completely fine. Here, let me get a bigger well, mm, issue, a bigger image of Bayleaf. I I don't like that it's yellow because it's uh, it throws off the the color scheme because it goes from green to yellow to green again. Okay, so I'm looking at Bayleaf. There are admittedly some renders of Bayleaf. I'm not even sure where these are from per se, but where it's like horribly lemon piss yellow and that looks ugly as sin i i but, think it's from like, like the, the image anime that didn't make that didn't do him too much justice i remember which sucks too because i remember ash had a bay leaf okay yeah here's a screenshot from the anime i do think that's too yellow but i didn't watch the gen 2 anime all that much so it's fine but like when you're looking at the art that we have on the tier list specifically i think that shade of yellow does work really well with the design uh, all right. Well, we'll say we'll say it to Chikorita then. I would put Chikorita in ha. Mm, so at very most, I could maybe be convinced of top tier, but definitely no higher, and at worst, high tier. So I guess we'd meet we'll in the middle s- then and put it in top tier. I guess we have to meet in the middle. Yeah, I'm ba- gonna mold ba- about this forever. Bayleaf, uh, I would say high tier, I guess. You know, yeah, I would say a high definitely, and you would say God, so I guess we'll meet in the middle again, but Meganium will drop down to high tier because I would say mid tier. I, I felt physical pain when you let go of the mouse <laughs> and felt it drop into high tier. We, we can re-estimate at the very end, but yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hard because this line is literally like one of my favorite. Uh, favorites in all of pokemon like there's i i, I do one like... starter that really comes to mind that i think is better than uh the chikorita line which is most of them <laughs> well fuck off all right i do i do like cyndaquil and totodile though at least at least they're they're base okay. forms. i feel like the base forms of, jo- of the johto starters are uh really good all right are you ready for this yeah. I would also put the entire Cyndaquil, Kulava, and Typhlosion line into God Kulava is not God tier. <laughs> Kulava looks cool. So I mean, sure, it's mostly he's when he has the fire Beta out, Typhlosion. It's cool. He is just I not mean, as I, cool I guess Typhlosion. Technically, Typhlosion I is just a better all... Kulava. Like, Typhlosion's existence should invalidate Kulava from God tier. Like I said, I have the ethereal connection to the Gen 2 starters. You should get I an ethereal connection with some bitches. <laughs> Fuck off. It's not like you have any either. <laughs> if I did, they'd uh, you'd be scaring the hose off when you say, yeah, Kulava's god tier. Wait, babe, where are you going? <laughs> No, right, they're. Um, I- I'm sticking. You know. You know what? If they I'll, aren't fine with Kulava being in God tier, they can. <laughs> they can leave all they want. All right. Well, I'll agree with you that Cyndaquil is God tier because I love. I love his design a lot. It's the closed eyes that make it for me. He's so fucking. Cyndaquil cute. is adorable. Yeah. Yeah, I do love Cyndaquil. 
Uh, unfortunately, I think he peaks with Cyndaquil and then, uh, Quilava. Uh, okay, you know here, I'm, I'm you know, fine here, 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 Quick story, with... quick story about, uh, Typhlosion. Uh, no Pokemon in, from the transition from 2D to 3D, like the sprites to the models, has been done dirtier than Typhlosion because... When we're looking oh, at the I know sprites exactly and we're looking at the 2D about. art, it's he's always depicted with the, the little ring of fire around his neck, and he looks awesome. In the 3D game, starting with X and Y, when he doesn't have the ring of fire around him, and he, he just looks naked without it, he, he looks hideous. I will completely give that to you, but I also think that most Pokemon look... To, I'm not sure how hot of a take this is. I think most Pokemon look way worse in the 3D models than with the sprites. Except for, surprisingly, the side games, which always nailed the 3D models. Perplexingly. Like, the main games always made the Pokemon look infinitely worse and washed out and ugly with the 3D models. Then you look at, like, Poke Park Wii. It's like, oh, they look good in this game for some reason. I feel like the anime did a good job making them feel like, you know, you know that they're drawn in 2D, but they feel three-dimensional, you know what I mean? Well, I'm not talking about the anime, I'm talking about the games. Yeah, yeah, that, that too. I'm just, I'm saying, like, a lot of, when I, before, like, we got, you know, 3D models and of the game, of the Pokemon and stuff like, you know, Pokemon Stadium, Poke Park Wii, all those games, uh, it was the anime that made them, you know, we, we got a feel for their anatomy and, like, a faux 3d space like you, you like even though uh like a, a spin like I, i'm just pulling this off the dome like spinner rack over here uh even though this is just the 2d drawing and we just see sprites in the game when he shows up in the anime you can like see his anatomy and like get an I idea in your head of how three-dimensional he is but typhlosion yeah, just I got guess. fucked by the transition for no good reason i thought like the fire was just always coming out of him, but now knowing that it's something that he like has to turn on is like, make, like sucks so much of the coolness out of him. I'll give you this. I think uh, Typhlosion only works with the fire on, whereas while Kulava, well, he looks way better with the fire on. I think the fact that he can turn it on and off does like isn't nearly as knee capping to him because even without the fire, he's, he's a cute little little gerbil. He's, he's yeah, cute, I... little cutie. But we're I think as Typhlosion is hard is hard carried by the cool factor. I think what what part of what's uh the you know up in the cuteness factor uh, and maybe even like a bit of a coolness factor for Kulava is that uh his eyes uh like are part of are on the blue part of his head and not the uh the yellow part whereas Typhlosion has the eyes under the blue part and, and I don't know I'm I'm not too big on that. Yeah, I feel like it works for Typhlosion. I mean, with with Kulava, yeah, the with the eyes need to be in between the blue and the uh, t pale yellow, I guess would be the color. I but guess. for Typhlosion here, let me once again get a bigger image of him up in a separate tab. But I don't know. I feel like it works for it. Like, I'm imagining how it would look with the blue. And it's kind of even hard to imagine. Because it feels a lot more natural for it to be on the yellow with Typhlosion. Uh, so, so you said Quilava and Typhlosion all go in God tier, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, well in that case, I would put Quilava in, if it were just me... <sighs> uh, I, I think I'd put them both in high tier, so I guess that evens out to top. This is the most painful thing I've ever witnessed. <laughs> All right, now Totodile, I uh, you would would you uh, would you put Totodile in God tier? No, I don't think I'd put any of the Totodile line in God tier per se. I'll but they're fucking all... choke you. <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna like agree with you. I'm like, at least we could agree that Totodile goes in God tier. But no, you just had to make it complicated. I will say Totodile is fucking adorable, and I won't necessarily object to him being in God tier, except for the fact that you put all the other really cool starters in. Well, you put Meganium in high tier. I'm not letting Totodile go in God without Meganium in top. Well, I don't love Totodile that much to fight for him, so I guess to top Totodile top it is. 
but I'm, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> well, well I, I suppose we can reassess the list when, we, when we're done and see if we can need to move anyone. Uh, Crocano, I would put in high or maybe top. He's yeah, not a, I, he, he's I, a I worse think Crocano is the... I, I, I like all of them, but Crocano is definitely the weakest of the three. And probably the weakest of all the starters, in my opinion. Well, all the starters in this generation and all the iterations of their if, line. There are weaker the starters lines, later on in the series. I don't necessarily disagree. Maybe, maybe, maybe. See, and, I, wait, no, I like I like I like Crockett on more than Bayleaf actually. Oh, that is an unhinged take. That is despicable. I, I like how but, cartoon dinosaur he looks. He is cool. Uh... I'm split between, yeah, I think it's a very high, high tier, but still in high tier. Which I'll agree. makes me feel it's... sad because Meganium is also there. <laughs> I, I agree because Totodial is the best of the, of the line. Uh, in that case, uh, I'm okay with putting Feraligator in top tier, but no lower than high tier. Oh, top tier for sure. I think this okay. is literally the one starter we agreed on. Okay. For alligator top tier, yeah, like I, I love how fucking cool and ferocious he looks. The the blue and the red is an awesome color combination. Yeah, it's cool. He he kind of looks like <laughs> I'm a Digimon. Still disgusted by, I'm still disgusted by Meganium in high tier. I will never get over this. <laughs> no, I I would have put it you in mid. So the that's where it averages this. out. That's where it it'll average out. All right, we're we're right, we're about. You know, 20 minutes in, and we're done with the starters now. <laughs> so now we can move well, on yeah, to everyone Well, yeah, but they're else. the ones that are going to be most fiercely debated. Because after that... I mean, once again, I'm a Joe <laughs> do, toddler. Do you have okay? any strong personal attachment to Centrit? Ah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Centrit goes and got no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Centrit's just mid. I, th I think we can both agree to that, right? Centrit? Uh... Yeah, it's barely saved from low tier to me, because the thing is, Sentra is just the infinitely worse version of Furret, which is oh no adorable. no Fur I adore Furret, I especially love what the Furret internet has, is incredible. has done to Furret. I I I, I you know a uh, fucking Furret, Furret goes walk on a walk ten needs, hours. He <laughs> needs no introduction. <laughs> uh yeah, so yeah, Sentra so, going mid. Yeah, Sentra mid tier. Furret. Uh yeah, Furret, see not the thing about. For it is that you know that make is he's really cute and of all Pokemon I feel like I'd if I were given the choice of a plushie I'd want to get a Furret plushie first he's that he's not even in my top ten favorite Pokemon of all time I just like would want a plush of Furret the most. One of my core memories of Furret is once again another Poke Park thing seeing Furret in the Granite Zone which is typically a zone full of like all the fierce Pokemon or the ones that look like they would belong in ruins. Whereas with Furret, you know, it's just a cute little Furret running around. And it's like, almost like this shocking juxtaposition. But because the color palette of Furret fits the granite zone, it works really well. And I don't know, Furret always stuck out to me in that zone. I mean, if it were the internet, the internet would certainly have placed it, uh, Furret in God tier. But I don't think he... I think Furret... I, I'd put Furret in top tier for pure adorable charm. I, I agree. Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is extremely ugly. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I hate... <laughs> what? What do, you, what do you mean, what? I like that he's got cool eyes, and he's like a perfectly round ball with like... I, I'm not even convinced that those are two feet. Are, are they two feet, or is that just one foot? No, it's one foot. It's just one foot. Okay, yeah, that's foot. hilarious. <laughs> it is funny, but I don't know. Something about Hoot Hoot has always rubbed me the wrong way. He, I, he has a very distinct cry. I don't know, I, I think I don't know, Something I, about those red eye, like eyes is ugly to me. And he, with he's the, been, hit, he's you, you been smoking the Zaza. <laughs> he has been smoking the Zaza, but you want to know what gets me? It's like the, the markings that look like eyelashes under the eyes. I like that, I, feel I like think without that's cool. those, I feel like without those, it'd look better. No, I feel like it'd look worse. I feel like it'll look infinitely better. I, I like uh, that. Something like, about it, it's a nice little like compliment to the pointy 
<laughs> spear-like uh, eyebrows that he's got going on. Who who just looks kind of kind of kind of dorky to me, but not in the fun way. Uh, I'm fine with him going in mid tier at worst, high tier at best. I'm hard gunning for mid tier. Okay, I'm 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 fine with that. Uh, but knock towel, I would say, it's say it mid. I I feel like it's not uh it's not like a downgrade, but I feel like it's just kind of like the most generic owl Pokemon you could make. I Noctowl is one of those Pokemon that I really want to like because on the surface it's like oh it's a cool owl and owls are like kind of inherently cool animals but it's also like not extremely cool it's almost like <laughs> I don't want to say soul versus soulless especially since I don't even like Hoot Hoot but some some yeah, part of the like, magic has been lost like the creativity yeah even even I who don't like Hoot Hoot feels like something extra has, needs to be put there for it to feel more like a natural transition and to keep some of the soul. So yeah, yeah so uh, I'm fine with fine. mid-tier. Yeah. yeah. Ladyba. Uh, I've never had strong feelings about Ladyba one way or the other. Ladyba and Ledian. Here's the thing. Ledian doesn't even really feel I, like much of an evolution from Ladyba. I, I keep forgetting Ladian exists. I don't blame you because our late Lady Anne is just Ladyba, but again and a little bit slimmer. Oh, and yeah. I guess I guess it gets like shoe looking things. <laughs> it gets shoes, <laughs> and I guess it can fly more consistently. I'd put. Oh God, I like I like Spinarak and Ariados uh, more. Yeah, I'm almost. I'm almost tempted to put Ladybug in low tier. It just because it's so basic, but it does feel a little wrong. Yeah, it's like I don't. <sighs> the thing about Ladybug, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm... Ladybug low tier. That that seems more right the more I'm thinking about it. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it being in the same tier as Noctowl would be a crime. Yeah. Uh. Lady in, I don't want to put it in piss tier, even though it's a very forgettable Pokemon. So I feel like l low tier is low fine as tier well. for Lady in, just because Lady in on its own. I feel like if Lady in was like the first evolution, it'd be I, mid tier. I feel like if but if Ladybug didn't exist and Lady in was just its own Pokemon, like didn't even evolve, I feel like people would remember it a lot more. Yeah, because it's like. What kills Ledian to me is not the design on its isolation, but rather I like the Ledian's fact design that it more is than an Ladybugs. evolution. Yeah. yeah, but it's a bad evolution. Just full stop. Yeah. All right, now now we're getting to a cool po uh, bug Pokemon though. It's Spinarak and Area. Spinarak. I love Spinarak's vibes. Spinarak has just some of the best vibes of any. It, bug it's Pokemon. a cool looking bug. Like, this is, like, the kind of the, bug you would see in a fantasy world. This feels like one of the Halloween Pokemon, even though it's not even really designed to be that. I 100% it, agree. Just, there's nothing better than seeing, like, a Lediba... Not, not Lediba, Spinarak. <laughs> I had the mid bug on the mind for some reason. Nothing better than seeing a Spinarak go down from its web, and it's got, like, the face... On its, uh, what, I, I what distinctly it? have the shot from the Pokemon Johto OP of the Spinarak climbing down its web, uh, etched into my mind permanently. Yeah, what I know it from more so is Poke Park once again. Uh, just the little Spinarak. <laughs> just the little Spinarak cry that it, it makes whenever you're near it. And, uh, yeah, like the images of Spinarak going down its web. There, oh, th God, there are spider Spinarak. Pokemon that I like more than Spinarak. Uh, spoiler for when we get to Gen 6, but I am a big Joltik enjoyer. Oh, Joltik is Gen 5. Although it is also oh, you're, oh, you're right, one, you're one right. of the I best got, uh, spider Pokemon. I, I got his origin mixed up in my head. Uh, but yeah, I would say, and Spinarak... also Ariados is cooler, so I would say Spinarak goes in high tier. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. That that sounds right. Yeah, and then Ariados. Uh, I think Ariados. Uh, Ariados top tier to me. 
Yeah, I I, I agree. It's I, not I don't... quite God, even though it is so. No, cool. no, he is not God tier. But he he is a scary looking bug. If I saw that coming at me in the middle of the night, I would shit myself. True. So next we've got Crobat. Uh, Crobat. Now you are a f infamous uh, Zubat line hater. So what do you think of Crobat? Crobat is just C Crobat is just the other Zubats, but good. I've never been a crowbat enjoyer. I've uh, like well, I, mean I, I, you're not a crowbat enjoyer. It's a cool. It's the coolest bat. Uh, they're no the Neuvern line are cooler bats. Well, yeah, I know you're a Neuvern fan, which I do really like Neuvern, and that that it, once you reminded me of Neuvern's existence, it did put a little bit of a damper on my crowbat love. But I still fucking love Crobat, dude. Uh, I feel like it getting smaller than Golbat is, like, kind of dumb. Well, the thing is, Golbat is kind of dorky big. Which yeah, is good, yeah, well... perpetually unhinged. Yeah, but I, I feel which like... Which is kind of funny, but at the same time... Crobat... Stick to that Well, see, design. here's what makes it... Here's what makes it uh, work for me, though. Because Crobat becoming slimmer... Is it becoming more aerodynamic, more capable of going like 200 miles per hour and fucking slicing you with, uh, I don't know, air cutter? Uh, I, I suppose. It's just that I feel like. Uh, so, uh, Golbat would be like really cool if you were a Dragon Quest enemy, but uh, no, he, he, he looks like he belongs more in that world than the Pokemon world. Uh, and Crobat, he's. I don't know, it's just, he, he he doesn't have that, you know, edge to him. He just feels like a bat Pokemon. Like, kind of like how uh, Noctowl is the generic representation of an owl Pokemon, Crobat's like the generic representation of a bat Pokemon to me. I heavily disagree. Uh, I'm willing to go no lower than top tier for Crobat. Top tier? You're out of your mind? Top tier? I am not out of my mind. You you put Meganium in high tier. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I, I, well, we averaged him out to high tier. I would have put him in mid. Okay, you uh, wanted to put Meganium <laughs> even more wrongly on the tier list. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you would put him in top. Do you, would you say top or god tier for Crobat? Top. Okay, uh, top tier. I, I, I certainly would not have put him in top tier. I would put him, uh, not high tier. I would not put him in piss tier. I'd put him in either mid or low. I'm trying to decide which one. Low, low. Excuse me. I it, it seems Are more wrong to damn... say. It it seems more wrong to say low tier now because I'm looking at La Ladyba and Lady In, and even though I like Lady In in a vacuum more than Crobat. Uh, I feel like, you know, it'd be a sin to put Crobat next to Ladyba in the same tier. Uh, so I will say mid-tier on Crobat, and so they'll average out to a high tier. I, I can be okay with high tier, except for the fact that Meganium is hit there, obviously. But, you know, I, I'll never shut the fuck up about that. I hope you know. I will, <laughs> well, never, maybe I will can... never be quiet about it. <laughs> you cannot silence the truth. <laughs> Uh, Chin Chow. Chin Chow and Lantern did, did are it. both adorable. Okay, yeah, all right. I, I, I thought for a second I got his name wrong, but no, that, that is Chin Chow. Yeah. Honestly, if you had not said the name, I would have forgotten it because it's kind of a weird I, I almost said Sunkern for, for some reason. I was like, that's not fucking Sunkern. Sunkern. <laughs> I, 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 I also, Chimeco was coming to mind. It's like, that's Gen 3. Well, yeah, but Chimeco does feel like a name that Pokemon would kind of have. It, it fits the vibe, I guess. Yeah, Chinchow doesn't really seem like a Pokemon name, does it? It seems like a Chinese no. name. No. Chinchow feels like... Yeah. It, I mean, Which it I guess feels is Chinese. part of the origin of these Pokemon. Uh, what is the Pokemon? Or what is the origin? Because all I knew was the whole. I think, well, it's supposed to be, thing. you know, off of those angler fish with the uh, the lights on their heads, but, you know, a cutesy version of oh, it. Oh, are those but... like Chinese in, or in origin? Well, I, I was thinking more of like Chinese lanterns, because I feel like uh, when they. When these Pokemon, with how like they come up to the surface and like float, uh, you know, Chinese lanterns tend to do that. 
Uh, I, I see it. I see it. I think they're both adorable, and I'm having a hard time deciding which one is more adorable. I feel like, yeah, I mean, this might be a, a hot take, but I feel like Lantern is, like, generically cute, whereas Chin Shao is, like, cool cute. I, it's definitely about uh, the, pl I wouldn't necessarily the plus say cool eyes cute, that, that but... are doing all the work for me. I, I, I will agree that Chin Shao is cute in a more unique way. Uh, see, I think Chin Shao is ch probably has the slight edge on Lantern. Definitely. I had to go Chin Chow, Chin Chow high tier. Yeah, I'm down with that. And then Lantern mid? Uh, by my lonesome, I'd probably be tempted to go high just by looking at Sentret also in mid tier. But I'm okay with mid. I will not fight you on it. Okay. Uh, Pichu. Pichu is adorable. Pichu is one of the cutest Pokemon. Yeah, he, he's definitely very cute. You know, uh, a pre-evolution to Pikachu didn't need to exist, but this is probably the best version you could come up with for that idea, for that concept. So yeah, like, you can say, oh, they're just trying to cash in on Pikachu. But th this, is, this is, like, the good version of that, though. And the thing is, I, I said this in the Gen 1 video, I have not uh, gone astray from my stance that Pikachu, of the entire line, is my least favorite. Like, uh, from a purely design sense. I know that you can say, oh, but all the memories they made in the anime. Yeah, okay. But Pichu is the cutest thing. He, he is a also, very adorable. Also, another, another Pokepark core memory. Uh, Pichu is in, the, uh, is in the haunted zone. So you have this sort of spooky looking zone filled with all these ghost Pokemon. Then you've just got... Pichu over there walking around with these little, little little Pichu. Pichu. Uh, I, I'm a Smash player, so all my Pichu memories are from Melee and uh, Smash Ultimate. Seeing him come back in Ultimate along with all the other forgotten Melee characters was, you know, a like massive, uh, you know, massive mind blowing moment. I, f I feel like he was. After in the uh, the legendary everyone is here trailer for ultimate, I feel like he was the first uh Pokemon revealed after I I might need to rewatch it. I might be getting my facts wrong. I know they pulled out a forgotten melee character specifically to e emphasize, you know, after the snake got uh the everyone is here tag on him. That was like, yo, yeah, when we say everyone, we literally mean everyone that's ever been in Smash will be a playable character. Because I remember Jigglypuff Dizzle rollout. And then Pichu uh, came up right behind him and it's like, oh my god, my, my long lost son has finally returned. So for Pichu, I'm honestly feeling either high or top. Yeah, I, I love the, I, my favorite part about Pichu is the black uh, outline it has along its ears and tail. Uh, that I, is I, I so how, adorable. I'm I so glad you pointed that out. His, his head is an egg. It's just a sideways oval. Pichu looks like scruffy Pikachu. Just scruffy, he, tiny he, Pikachu. He, he's the scrimble bimblo version of Pikachu. If, if Pikachu were like a 3D platforming mascot, that would be him. And for that, Pichu is the better Pikachu. IMO. You know what? Honestly, the more we top, the more we talk about Pichu, I'm, I, the more I think top. Yeah, I'll, I'll say top tier. I agree. Cleffa. Cleffa. Another baby Pokemon, which yeah, we're, uh, we're getting Gen into the 2 infamously here. added. Uh, yeah, I like... So Cleffa. Uh, I, I think I like Cleffa the most. Yeah, I, I do like Cleffa the most of the Clefairy line, because of just how cute it is. Uh, I think I prefer Clefairy over Cleffa. I don't know, Cleffa's but... cute because she's small and puntable. A wonderful, wonderful um, Imagine that thing going through a field goal. <laughs> True. It is a funny thing to imagine. And like, it, uh... it, it, does, it has no expression of pain. It keeps that, that exact smiling face as it soars through the sky and between the goalposts. But the, the issue is, I just don't feel like I have much of a connection to Cleffa. Cleffa's oh, I don't, cute, outside of it and... being cute. Yeah. 
It's not something I would say I'd em- high emphatically tier. say is cute, like Furret or Pichu. Yeah, I, uh, I, I would tier, say high tier. I think by my lonesome, I'd probably go high mid, but because, like, I won't fight you on high. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking that. Uh, Alright, here's a hot take. Igglybuff is pissed here. Really? I, I don't. Uh, I, I, I do mean, I, like I get where you're coming from because I also do not like Igglybuff in the slightest. It looks like if Jigglypuff were like a fetus. Yeah, it, it like, kind of is. Just the three ugly nubs Jigglypuff. on the top of his head that I guess are supposed to form the swirl that Jigglypuff gets, but it that looks hideous. It has a weird spiral on its forehead for like no fucking reason because that's not. A part of Jigglypuff's design at all. Uh, its eyes are red. Like it, it reminds me of like like a newborn. Uh, well, yeah, I guess because it's a baby, like a newborn animal where it has like you know those beady red eyes, like kind of you know kind of like a bear or a deer. You know what? I think I, I think Jigglypuff is probably going to be the best candidate we'll have for piss tier, just because I'm going through the Gen two and, Pokemon and, that I can and, remember and keep in, in mind, my keep head. In mind. I'm saying this because I've I've I forget where we ended up putting Jigglypuff. I know I argued for God tier. I can't remember if it ended up in God tier or not. I don't think it ended up in God tier. I think you conceded because I had not seen much of the anime. Okay. Or no, it was but because yeah, I the, hadn't seen it in Smash either. Yeah, th- like, this didn't is have as much of a uh, connection. Uh, this is m- more of a crime because of how much that uh, you know Jigglypuff is like perfection. This is like what the fuck were you even thinking with this one? You know what? Pissed here. Uh, I'm completely yeah. fuck. Fu- fuck I'm completely up. down for that. It's it's stupid. Togepi, however, Togepi is not stupid. Togepi on the Togepi's other hand, the fucking OG. Yeah, Togepi. I remember um, Misty's Togepi. I'm pretty sure she's the one who had one. Yep. Uh, Togepi is adorable. I love that it and... is still in the egg, and when it evolves, it just takes the eggs. Uh you know, uh, the patterns and makes it a part of its body. The entire Togepi to Togetic, uh, well, Togetic to Togekiss is the final yep. one. Yeah, but Togekiss uh, is the one, this one. I-, I love that entire line. So, although unfortunately we do not have Togekiss in this gen, which means that it av- unfortunately has its final form in Togetic, which is honestly the worst of I- the three. I feel like, I feel like they peaked with Togepi. You have a good case for it. Uh, I'd have to think about it because I do really, really like Togekiss, and I think wherever, whichever tier I end up putting Togepi in, will probably be the one I put Togekiss in. Uh, we we can I, agree that Togetic is not very good, though, right? Uh, it's still De- it's still definitely the weakest fine. of the line. Weakest of the line, I one hundred percent agree with. So Togepi. Uh, I think I'm gonna gun for, uh, actually, no, the more I think about it, the more I do think that Togekiss is my favorite of the line, come to think of it. So, yeah. Um, uh, it, Togepi... it, it, it take a... Oh, wait, hold on, that's the... I, I, I can't do that when I'm recording. <laughs> Here, I can... Oh, wait, you, you also can't look at it no matter what. Here, I'll, I'll get up an image of Togekiss on my own. To just remember. Uh, oh, I, dude, I remember one shot of Togekiss. Togekiss I know it's like a, it's like it's like adorable. wings. Yeah, it's just I would a say bird Togepi. Togepi. Yeah, I would say Togepi is. I keep that's so. You know what? I feel like the mental barrier in my head that's throwing me off is that uh, I've like I've gotten so used to Togepi because of the anime that knowing that it's supposed to evolve into a bird or like at least a flying Pokemon is like so weird to me. I do kind of see that, but I also kind of love that about it. Uh, I would I would put Togepi in uh, top tier. I'm thinking more uh, high tier, honestly. I don't think I think it's nearly as adorable as Pichu and Furret. I I think he is. I think he he's on a spectrum and he's like somewhere in between. I I think Togepi is cuter than Pichu. 
Hmm. You think you really think Togepi is cuter than Pichu? I wholeheartedly disagree. Do you have you do you not watch the anime? Remember all the chirping noises that it makes when it's like always in Misty's arms? I do remember that, but at the same time, uh, it's just not as cute as Pichu to me. I'm still thinking high tier. Uh, but and he, also but the, the idea of it being above Meganium, it kills me inside, but, you know. What do you mean, oh, being above Meganium? Toga, Togepi's cool. Togepi's cute. Adorable. He, he is he is friend-shaped. He is shaped like a friend. You know what? I'll, I'll try my hand once more. If we put Meganium top tier, we can put Togepi top tier. <sighs> well, I'm not going to fight for him that much. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> we Again, we can reassess near the end of the list. Uh, but Togetic, uh, honestly, uh, mid-tier. Uh, uh, mid or Okay, low. it does feel a little, it does feel a little weird to have, like, also mm -hmm. Centret be there. Mid, mid, mid it's or not low It's not quite tier that bad. Togetic. Definitely no higher than mid. Or low tier? Excuse me. I'm I'm not a Togetic enjoyer. I feel right, like well, I feel like it's got a it's it it has like a stupid its neck is like thin so dumb. That that is true. Thin neck. It's its neck is too thin. I feel like that's one of the main things keeping it back. Whereas, I, I feel like his head. Should you want to know what they like, should have done? It, I I feel like what they should have done is make it more Togepi shaped and then like give it wings and do something cool with that. Oh my God, if it, it was Togepi with like... wings, if it were like a bigger like size Togepi, like if you just scaled him up, but have him grow wings off his back, that'd be adorable. Yeah, and like make the, uh, and also keep the egg fusing with it thing because that's super cool. Yeah, just make bigger Togepi with the egg fused and wings. That would have been the perfect middle evolution. But yeah, instead and then, we get Ostrich and then you Togepi. Togepi yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like his head should be constantly drooping down like his neck should not be able to support that much weight uh i won't let it go into low tier but mid tier i am completely fine with okay i, I don't feel i'm not i'm not willing i don't hate it enough to like to fight it to get to low tier uh natu natu and zatu uh, uh natu i'm not the biggest fan of but zatu is rad yeah. Yeah, Zatu's cool. Natu is. I love that it has like the same head. Uh, <laughs> it literally is just this. <laughs> but uh, I, but see, I hate that, that's how also what... I hate how basic Natu is in comparison to how fucking cool Zatu is. Yeah, Natu is just a very. Ba I feel like Natu should have a bit more of the things that make Zatu special because Zatu is like this almost egyptian god-esque pokemon you it feels a, very yeah, trippy ancient pattern and psychic cool. when it opens up its uh wings to reveal the pattern yeah zatu dude all it kinda fucking looks all the zatu images are so cool but yeah not to <laughs> zatu, I, 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 would... I feel like if you were to google image zatu and then not to all the zatu images will be like varied and cool and all the not two images will just be like of him as a ball just standing there because that's all he is yeah uh, okay i'm i'm doing the test right now and it is basically what you're describing except there's this really cute not to fan art of someone like squishing a not to and it's so adorable where they've they've just headcanoned in the idea that not to you can just squish him infinitely and that that idea makes not to actually really cute that but is adorable, unfortunately, but not that canon. is not actually canon. So, yeah, mid tier. Uh, uh, I, I'd put not too mid tier. I honestly, I'd I'd fight for not too to be in low tier. Like, I I I wouldn't fight for Togetic to be in low tier, but I feel like I'd fight for not too in low tier. You know what? Of, of all the things we've put in mid tier, I would be most willing to put not too in low tier, because. Because not... he, he gets so cool with Zatu. Yeah, and it's like, even though, you know, I find Hoot Hoot ugly, at least Hoot Hoot does still have charm to it, whereas Natu, he, he's just kind of there, especially compared he, he's to just Zatu. He's taking up space. So I, I so feel yeah, like low tier is a good place for him. Low tier uh, is justified. 
Yeah, Zatu, Zatu is I'd say rad. high tier. High tier. Uh, I almost want to go top, but I feel like high tier is better fitting just because it's not quite furret level. Yeah, it's it's not furret uh totodile for alligator Pichu level. Mareep. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure if this is a hot take. Ampharos God tier. God, Ampharos God tier. Uh, he does I see a lot of use in competitive Ampharos. if I am not just spouting nonsense and spreading misinformation on the internet. I'm, I don't know anything about Ampharos in competitive. It probably got ruled out just because of the fact that it's an old Pokemon. Although it, it does turn it into does a, mega. a mega. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, Ampharos. I'm gonna refresh myself on Mega Ampharos. Yeah, Mega Ampharos is so fucking regal and cool. Uh, except for the curly horns, I don't necessarily love those. So what I love about Ampharos is that the idea behind the Mareep line is so interesting to me. That it just goes from sheep to, like, dinosaur sheep adjacent thing. And that's always been funny to me. But also, Ampharos is like this perfect mix of cute and cool where one second it can be your cute dinosaur best friend and then the next it can fucking shock people to death and it can pull off both of them extremely well and so th just the idea mixed with the perfect execution i think that lends it to being in god tier and also i've just always loved the marie line i wouldn't put any of the other members of the line in god tier but I love all of them to bits, and Ampharos is easily my favorite. You know, you know what's weird to me about Ampharos is that it almost entirely ditches the sheep aesthetic of the Mareep line. Yet I like it does not bother me that it, it that it gets rid of the sheep aesthetic. Well, that's the thing because it feels like such a natural progression where you got Mareep, it's a sheep. You got uh, Flaffy, and. She's, you know, starting to lose the wool a bit. It's on two legs now. And it's got, you know, that long dinosaur tail. And then it becomes the dinosaur. And it's like, oh, it makes perfect sense. You see the progression. Uh, I've, I've never loved Ampharos to the point of putting it in god tier, but I, I would put it in top tier because Ampharos is cool. I'm, I'm going to hard gun for Ampharos in, in god tier. All right, I'll I'll tell you what. If we can bump Totodile up to God tier, we can put Ampharos in God tier. I am com considering Totodile as my favorite of the Feraligator line. I am okay with that. Okay. Because Totodile uh, is a G. Now, uh, what about Mareep and Flaffy? Flaffy, I think, is the weakest, and I would put in high tier. Uh, I... Honestly, I don't care much for... I, I like Flaffy the least, but I, I would put... But, um, I don't like the pink. I, I, I don't like that it goes from blue to pink. Uh, I'm, hold on, I'm, I'm imagining blue Flaffy in my head. Uh, I don't think the pink is the issue, especially since I kind of like that they're all different colors. but. I don't know, something of, it's like that transition between Mareep and Ampharos, where Mareep perfected the cute, and Ampharos perfected the ability to be your dinosaur best friend. I, I kind of feel like you could cut Flaffy from this line, just have Mareep evolve into Ampharos, and nothing of value would be lost. Uh, that is kind of true. I, mean, I, I guess say... it smooths out the transition, but at the same time, yeah, you're kind of right. Yeah, I, I uh, for to start with, I would put Marie personally in mid tier because I think it's just a sheep. Okay, it's just well, kind of fuck like off. It is. It it's cute sheep. It's your cute. It, it, it is a cute sheep, sheep but it's, it's so fluffy. I want to hug it. I I also like I that it's put, an electric sheep. And it's got the little light bulb on its tail. I think I, I, Marie. Uh, you know what, I, I was capping a little bit when I said Flaffy high tier, I actually think Flaffy mid tier, and Mareep, uh, Mareep high tier. See, I, I put Mareep high tier, Flaffy mid tier. Alright, for, for the sake of making sure Mareep is higher than Flaffy, I would... Yeah, that that's fine. That, I feel like those are fair placements. Bellossom. 
Velossum is cute, but it's also not a Pokemon that I'm super attached to. At the same time, I do think it is my favorite of the Oddish line. I, I like Vileplume more because I like just the how cool it looks with the big, you know, fat flower. It kind of makes it look like a dapper hat, especially when they always draw him with the, the Vileplume hat uh, tilted down. So it's like covering one of its eyes. Yeah, I understand that, but I don't know. Blossom's adorable. I Johto has a lot of cute Pokemon. That's what I've noticed, especially now that we're you know seeing the tier list laid out in front of us. Like it, it's striking me how cute Johto is, and that's probably why I always preferred its designs overall to Kanto. Yeah, can't, can't, yeah, this one definitely has a lot more cuter designs than Kanto. I think Kanto had a nice. I feel like Kanto has a nice balance of cute and cool, whereas this one I feel like leans in more on the uh, the cuteness. So, well, actually, I say that, but I'm looking at later on, down, further down on this list, and I'm seeing guys like Steelix, uh, Heracross, Sneasel, and I'm 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 thinking. Oh, I, I can't can... wait to get to Sneasel. It's gonna be badass. But okay, uh, Sun. Okay, Sunflora. Uh, well, the, the, we're not at Sunflora yet. We're at Blossom. Oh, Bill Awesome. Oh, excuse me. I got the wrong flower Pokemon. So, uh, I Bilossum, would say Bill Awesome high tier. Yeah, I'd go with that. It's not quite as bad as uh, what we have in mid tier, but it's still not super great. Yeah, now the Merrill line. I, I thought Azumarill was a Gen 3 Pokemon. I. Uh, because uh, Azuril well, see, is see what Gen I always 3, forget. Right? Yeah, I always forget that Azuril is Gen 3 because in my head it's always like, oh yeah, Gen 4 is the one that added the new evolutions to all the Gen 1 and 2 Pokémon. Yeah, is Azuril have to the correct only myself. new evolution that Gen 3 introduced? It might be. Well, I'm sure well yeah, and we, we, we got to be sure so about weird. this cuz people people if you oh, get anything wrong about misinformation. Pokemon, yeah, but Azuril, if you get anything wrong about Pokemon, people will be more than happy gen. to let you know. Okay, yeah, Azuril I'm... was Gen 3. Uh, how many... Right. How many, how many new evolutions, new evolutions to old Pokemon did Gen 3 add? Doesn't introduce any new evolutions. Well, that's wrong, because Azuril is Gen 3. I, I Thanks, Reddit. I guess it's a pre-evolution. Oh, true. But, like, how many new Pokemon... Okay, well, that's the wrong question. Okay, I don't... Th I I'm not finding anything, so I can't confirm nor deny this. That I'm I'm... I, I, I really it's think the only that one that's Azura coming to mind. One. Yeah. But, me, uh, but we're not talking about Azura, we're talking about Meryl. And I like Meryl. I like Meryl, but at the same time, I think it's the weakest of the line. Because you have Azuril... Which is just two two bouncy balls with a mouse attached, and it's fucking it's hilarious and adorable. And then Azumarill, I I just want to hug Azumarill, just this big <laughs> Azumarill rabbit is mouse also looking thing. Azur Azumarill is very friend shape. Uh, Meryl, I'd go I'd go high tier for Meryl. I agree. And then Azumarill. I, I don't think uh, Azumarill is that much of an upgrade yeah. from Meryl. I would, I would also say high tier. Top tier doesn't feel right, but it also doesn't feel right for them to be in the same tier as each other. But I also I don't like want to put Meryl Well, I like, I like Meryl more, but I also don't so. feel like Meryl is, is top tier enough. So I, I feel like they can coexist in high tier with the, the knowledge that we just prefer. Well, at least I prefer Meryl. Yeah, you know what? They can coexist with the knowledge that I prefer Azumarill. Okay. Let's see what that looks like on here. Okay. And, uh, all right, Pseudo Wudo. Clank. All right, Pseudo Wudo. I really like Pseudo Wudo. I think he's just a cool Pokemon. Uh, I, I like the idea that he's petrified wood and is pretending to be a tree. I just think that's a really cool concept, and I think they execute it really well, too, where, you know, even just looking at him, like, you can tell, oh, that's a weird-looking tree thing. 
you know, it doesn't look like a normal tree. Then you find out it's a rock type. There's that whole thing of putting, of watering the pseudo wudo to get it out of your path because it's a rock type and hates water, which is another really cool idea. Yeah, that is really cool, actually. So, uh, it's not quite would... top tier, but I would, I would hard gun for high tier. I agree. Polytoad. I'm I'm not too much of a Polytoad enjoyer. Uh I once again think it's the best of the uh well actually no, Polywag no, is cuter. Po I'm po capping po hard. No, Poly Polywhirl I like way more. I I think I might like Polytoad the least actually of the four uh line of the four forms. I hard disagree with that because Polyrath is just angry Poly Polytoad. I, I no, like that more than this. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 the, I like the how thing that is. gets me about okay, the thing the thing that gets me about Polytoad is two things. It's that swirl on top of his head, mixed with the pink cheeks, that just makes me think baby, but not <laughs> he, in the good way. <laughs> he, he he does look like the. Uh... You know those memes where it just goes like whip 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 baby I, and just cuts I, off right there. I don't know those memes actually. I will like you have no idea what I'm talking about. Then I'm sure hopefully <laughs> the audience does. Uh, I'll have to show you one later. Uh, yeah, he he does look like baby. Uh, I would put him in. Uh, Mid at best, low at worst. It's not quite low. I'm I'm gonna hard gun for mid tier. Okay, I I, I don't. Uh, I, there's not enough fire in my loins about Polito to get him to fight for low tier. <laughs> the Hoppip line. The weird thing about po uh, about the Hoppip line is that none of them really feel like evolutions of each other to me. It feels like they are three Pokemon that could just be three different forms of the same Pokemon. I think it's they're weird that, that Jumpluff is the final evolution and not Skiploom. Really? Yeah, because he's going from, you know, a flying uh, pink guy with leaves to a blue uh, flying guy with, a, with a, a weed on his head. And then the Skiploom is the flower. Uh, we'll see, the balls are, like, they're Dandelion. supposed to be, like, dandelions, yeah. yeah, and it's, it's embodying it's how it flies, and so, yeah, but it's, it, the, the flower is also a dandelion flower, well, it, okay, it doesn't look like one, but then the context of the line, that's what it's supposed to be, kind of. On, on that's Skip the process, anyway. Uh, well, on Skip, Skip Loom, it doesn't that, look like a dandelion. A yeah, it looks like a normal flower, but the the idea behind it is that it be it's the dandelion, and then it becomes the uh, dandelion that has the white fluff and it's flying. I mean, they're all they're all flying. True, but I guess Jumpluff embodies the idea of. Flying I, I like that Jumpluff is more of a floater because he, he he floats like dandelion flowers in the when you blow them. I, but once again, the issue is, to me, they still don't feel like one cohesive evolution line, where it almost yeah. feels like they should it, it, be It does three feel a little of, cursed. Three forms of the same Pokemon. Yeah, you're right, they do look more like alternate forms than evolutions. Because, at the same time, you know, I, I've uh, spent, like, the past minute trying to defend the change in evolution, but it's sort of playing. Oh god, what what the fuck is it? Uh, I don't know, like steel manning the point. Just, where yeah, I guess I, I I will say where, I like jump buff the most, but I'm I I don't care too much for Hoppip or Skiploom. Uh, Skiploom I think is the worst, even though the dog ears yeah, are kind of adorable. I agree. So, I would say Hoppip in honestly. Can we put Skiploom in low? Uh, you know what? Yeah, just because Skip Loom, I have no attachment to Skip Loom, whereas yeah. Hopip and Jumpluff are at least really cute. I would put Hopip in mid, 
and then skip uh, jump pluff in high tier. I think I agree completely. Hey, right. Apom. I'm, I'm a big Apom fan. He's he's a silly guy. I'm not a big Apom fan, but I do like him quite a bit. He's, uh, he he's just that perfect mix of cute and cool, I guess. Where he's cool in a cute way is how I'd put it. He he looks like he would give Spike from Ape Escape like all of the business. Like he would he'd drive him up a wall. Yeah. Uh. Meanwhile, Ambi Palm is the worst version in my yeah. opinion. But we can <laughs> what, what we can fuck get to thinking? that. Uh, I would say a palm. I don't feel strong about putting him in top, but I would say high tier is a good spot for him. High tier was exactly what I was thinking. Okay. All right. Uh, Sun Kern and Sun Flora. I'd put them both in low. You don't like him? No, I don't like him. No, I I, I think Sun Kern's cute. I like how like small and. Like you, you could pick it up by its two little. Here, let me get and... a bigger uh, image of Sunkern. Uh, there, there's something off about Sunkern to me, where I feel like I should think it's the cutest thing ever, but its its eyes are more like it's big and beady, but it's not like the cute kind. And I also don't like how it's on the dark part, so they don't. Uh, stick out very much. It kind of blends in with the markings on the sun kern. Uh, I I agree. I I don't think they're low tier. I would say I'd put them in mid tier. I'd go low tier. I do not like either of them. Uh, okay. I'll, t I'll tell you what. We can meet in the middle because I'm not a big. I don't like Sunflora's face. I think Sunflora has a kind of dopey face and not in a cute way. Can we put Sunkern in mid and Sunflora in low? Uh, we can do that. Alright. Yanma, before it becomes the much cooler Yan Mega. That's the thing. Uh, y Yanma's up there with Apom as like, why didn't you give this an evolution in Gen 2? They feel like they should have one. But yeah. Yanma, especially. Like, Apom looks really cool. And it's yeah, like, form... they, you you could like Apom like looks like he should have an evolutionary uh line, but you can uh, you can see you're like okay, I can get why they kept him as is, but Yanma looks like you know stage one of two or even three. They have to have been planning one and just not be able to come up with one because it's like why would it just exist on its own? That doesn't even begin to make sense. So Yanma. Hmm. Uh, it is kind of ugly. It's it's kind of ugly and not in, in a cool way. Like, what do you? All right, hold on. I wouldn't say it's ugly. Let me. Okay, hey, look I'm at looking at it. Look at its face. Uh, look at its mouth. Okay, I'm looking at some Google images. It depends on how it's drawn because. Like, I'm looking at some of the sprites in the games, and they're cool, or, or, or like, and also, Yan cute. Mega is just, like, But then I look at the cooler. sprite in the Gen 2 games, and it's, <laughs> and it's kind of ugly in those games. Like, uh, I, feel I like think it's, it's low tier, honestly. Yeah, I Just because I agree. there's nothing yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, like, iggly buff, hitty, like, I don't think it's iggly buff worthless, but I feel like low tier is a good spot for it, because... Like what will they? Uh, uh, why is it by itself? Like, like we we needed Yan Mega here yesterday. Wooper, I I love Wooper. He is so Wooper fucking silly. Wooper is one of Wooper is one of the cutest Pokemon. I I love everything about it. Uh, and, and I, it's another Pokemon where I think the pre evolution is better than the uh final form. Uh, final form, yeah. Uh, Quagsire I like is silly. Quagsire a lot. Uh, I think it just loses a lot of the the cuteness. You know, it's it's he's dopey and still really cute, and I mean dopey in the good way for once. But Wooper, Wooper's yeah, but just where it's at. Look at this artwork of Wooper. He's literally pogging. 
he is in fact pogging. And I, I, okay, here's what will always press me about Quagmire. They didn't keep the little coral <laughs> things my favorite, next to his My face. favorite Family Guy character, Quagmire. Oh, did I say Quagmire? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's but... okay, you're not, you're definitely not the first person to make that uh, mental slip up. But Wooper, yeah, it will always press me that they didn't keep the coral thing going because they're supposed to be based yeah. off of axolotls and they, like, that's their defining feature. And so why wouldn't you expand on it for the final evolution? Yeah, also Claude Sire in uh, Gen 9 is just better than Quagsire. Claude Sire? I've never seen that before, actually. I will yeah, look, look, look up look up Claude up, Sire. I will look that up. Claude they, Sire. You can also look up, uh... I forget what the fucking region's called, but, uh... Look up, uh, Gen 9 Wooper. Gen 9 Wooper. Alright, so Gen 9 Wooper... Oh, I just typed in Gen 9. Alright, Gen 9 Wooper. Uh... Okay, I, I definitely like that Wooper. I actually think base Wooper is cuter, but I, I like yeah, the I... <laughs> the wide open face of Gen 9 Wooper. Yeah, but, but Claude uh... Sire, though, he's a silly guy. Hmm. I actually think I might prefer Quad, uh, Quagsire, but Claude Sire is very cute and dopey. I still think Wooper clears, though. Oh, yeah, Wo Wo Wooper's the best of all of them. I would put so Wooper, Wooper in top tier. I was about to say the same thing. So Wooper top tier, I'd go Quagsire high tier. Because Quagsire is still a cutie, he's still friend-shaped, and I would hug him, but loses a lot of the cuteness. I, I agree. All right, now we get to the Johto Evolutions, uh, which I, I will say, uh, I feel like Espeon is not is one of, down there with one of my least favorites. You said this take in the last tier list, and it pressed me because Espeon is literally one of my favorites. Uh, I think the, the best part about I, Espeon is the ears. I like that they have the little like. Little fluff points going out the ears. Uh, like I love how spooky perpendicular Espeon to the... is. Espeon is one of the spookiest Pokemon. Uh, I mean, I get it's more like regal spooky because like Umbreon looks spookier. Well, yeah, Umbreon looks ha like outright Halloween themed, and I really like that about Umbreon. Espeon, yeah, like you said, regal spooky. Where if you if if you see Espeon in the distance staring out at, at like just staring at you, I feel like that would be terrifying because there's this air of mystery about it. Whereas with Umbreon, I feel like Umbreon, you know, could have that same effect, but I would also be just as likely to find it kind of adorable. Because I don't know, something about Umbreon is just cute to me. Uh, I, I would say Espeon's a little cute, because I imagine running my hand from Espeon's head down to its tail would be very a uh, very pleasant experience. I'm gonna be real with you. I, I feel like I'd put... God, I think Gen 2 has some of the outright best evolutions. There's only one that I think is... Yeah. Oh god, even that's... Uh, I, I like, I like the one Gen in my 4 head I... evolutions more than the Gen 2 evolutions. Nah, I mean... Le Leafeon does clear, to be fair, but... Gl Glaceon nah. clears both of these two. Nah, I wouldn't go that far. I, I love both of these And then Sylveon the clears them all. Okay, well, we actually agree on that one. That's probably my favorite it's, evolution. Well, th that's not an uncommon opinion. Really? I, th I thought it was more uncommon than that, but okay. No, but no, yeah. I, I, no, everyone loves Sylveon. Like, everyone's favorite evolution is Sylveon. Damn, okay. I guess I'm not up to date on the Pokemon takes. But... I'm not as unique as I thought I was. Although I guess Espeon is a little unique, because I think, uh, straight up, I think Espeon goes in God tier. Espeon in God tier? Really? Hell yeah! Hell I'd yeah! I'd sooner put Ampharos, of my own volition, I would sooner put Ampharos in God tier than Espeon. Alright, where would you put Espeon on this list? If it were just me, I would put Espeon in high tier, so I guess that'll average out to top. 
And yeah, then I would put right. the top Umbreon. Tier. Where would you I put would Umbreon? also put Umbreon in top tier. Because yeah, I, I do like Espeon fair. more and would put Espeon in god tier of my own volition. But Umbreon going in top tier, like, that's something I completely agree with. Okay. Uh, Murkrow. Another yeah, yeah, instance no, another of Pokemon that why, needs yeah, a fucking why, evolution. <laughs> why didn't it have one in this gen? At the very least, Murkrow dapper as hell. Murkrow oh, yeah, is one got dapper swag. fellow. Mur uh, Murkrow's dripping out his gourd. Yeah, and uh, uh, an instance of the Gen Four evolution actually complementing it and making it better. Unlike some Pokemon, uh, cough cough, a palm. Yeah, hey, but, yeah, Yan Mega was cool too. Yan Mega was in fact cool. Uh, oh, oh my god, I looked up Murkrow art, and there's, and then I found Murkrow inflation fetish porn. I hate oh, oh no! Don't <laughs> well, let that taint I, your rating of it right now. I won't let it taint my rating because Murk Murkrow's just dapper. He's so cool. Yeah, M Murkrow fucks. <laughs> Murkrow kind of fucks. Murkrow has sex. <laughs> oh god, that's not a good thing to say after seeing the inflation art. <laughs> uh, I would say... Because Honchkrow is cooler, so I would say Murkrow can go with top tier, not quite god tier. Yeah, Murkrow top tier. Because I... no way is it god tier, but top tier is absolutely fitting. Okay, now I gotta scroll down one for the video. Slowking. The worst slow uh slowpoke evolution. Unfortunate. What what because what's the other it go uh slow it, it can it go from slow it goes slow bro to slow king, right? Or does it go from slow poke no, to slow king? No, it's slowpoke and then it's it's either slow poke or, or slow bro or slow king. That's weird to me, because like slow king looks like he should be the evolution of slow bro, right? Well see, I'm I I'm glad it's not a strict evolution. Because I don't like Slow King that much. I, I think Slow Slow Bro just looks so dopey and adorable and it's god tier and literally my favorite Pokemon. Whereas Slow King is just like the worst of the three. I I like Slow King a little more than Slowpoke just because he's got more going on than Slowpoke. And I do kind of like the Slowpoke idea. Slowpoke is a cutie. I, I like the lore of Slowkey. The the entire Slowpoke line, unironically, is some of the best lore in Pokemon. I love how Slowking gets as smart as it is because the shell that bites its tail instead bit his head. And it, because of, like, it hit, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm trying, maybe I'm misremembering, but I think, like, the bite uh triggered something in its brain that switched it from... Uh, you know, the dopey brain dead retard that it is into a fucking mega genius. Is that the bite of 87? <laughs> it literally is. It's like it, it's the bite of 87, but it gives it makes you fucking uh, you know, Charles Xavier. See, I like the lore and the idea behind it, but something about like the little water floaty frill, I don't, I don't really like that about it. I, 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 like I, I like the it. shell crap. I like but it I don't for really like giving him floating. more of a regal sense because he is the slow king. But if I mean, I guess it is kind of regal for slowpoke standards. Like you can yeah. imagine in in the slowpoke universe, this is like if they put uh, that on slow bro, it, it, makes, it would make if they put that on slow bro, it would make slow bro actively worse. But because it look because uh, they put it on slow king, yeah. it, it looks uh, better. I don't know, I've never been a big Slow King fan. I'd go, it's not quite mid, because it does have a lot of personality, but I would go high tier. Uh, I feel like the lore makes it top tier. I, I really like it, the idea behind it. You know what? You can put Slow King in top tier if, and I'm trying this <laughs> for the third time, <laughs> if Meganium goes in top Come on, tier. fucking has lore, dude. Come on. Meganium and... Uh, I'm not backing down from th from this gambit, this bet. All right, well, we'll put him in high tier for now. We can talk about it. Oh, fucking hell. I I hate Meganium more than I love Slowking. <laughs> He's All just right. a hater. 
yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry that I hate stupid uh, looking Pokemon. <laughs> it's not stupid looking. It's adorable it's and it's god tier. <laughs> Yo, you're out of your fucking mind. All right, Mistrevis. Another Pokemon that it's like, why didn't they get another evolution? Which they did in Sinnoh, and it's fucking awesome looking. Uh, Mistrevis yeah, on her own is still really cool. I really though. like Mistrevis. It's like a cute ghost. Mistrevis is that perfect mixture of cute and cool once again. And creepy. Yeah, it's another Halloween-y Pokemon. Yeah, I'd I'd put I'd say top tier. I I agree. All right, unknown. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, fuck the lore. I hate unknown. I'm gonna be real with you. Fuck the lore. I also hate unknown. Did, okay, <laughs> did the lore of unknown even go anywhere? Because I, I don't. They, I don't I think, think it, it did. leads to Celebi. I think they did. I. Pretty sure they did something with it either in Gen 3 or Gen 4. I, I, my gut is telling me Gen 4. Uh, I know that the unknown shit led to the Celebi event in the original Johto games, or maybe Heart Gold Soul Silver, but uh, it's just like I like the idea. Okay, if it were not Pokemon, if it were literally anything else, like if this were a Ghibli movie, I would think that the unknown being like a language is really cool but for it being like a, a pokemon because like he, he, here's what fucks me up about unknown because like when i'm playing the earlier pokemon games where catching them all is possible uh i want to you know catch them all but if i i won't feel good about catching them all unless i get all 26 versions of unknown which is just annoying because well, here's the other thing. Unknown is just weak shit. Like, it's, it's just a garbage Pokemon. Like, I know uh, we're not supposed to be talking about Correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, viability on team isn't really a factor here, but correct me if I'm wrong. Does it only know hidden power? I'm fairly sure that is its only move. Let me check to make sure. Unknown learn set. So I feel like it. it by leveling up, Hidden Power, by TM HM, this Pokemon learns no moves by TM. By breeding, just, this Pokemon learns no moves by breeding. By tutoring, this Pokemon <laughs> learns no moves by tutoring. Just, Every just, possible method fails. Okay, do we do we want to be assholes and put Unknown in piss tier? I want to be an asshole and put it in piss tier. Because there's right, I'm no... Gl I'm glad it's we It's so much worse than the other ones. I, I'm glad we agree. Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet is a funny Pokemon. It's just, he's just a troll. He's yeah. just a complete troll. I love how in the Smash Brothers games, if you get him and if you, it, his thing is if you punch him, he just like wobbles back and forth like a fucking wacky inflatable tube man and just smacks you back. <laughs> yeah, he's, it's such a weird design too, but I like how weird it is. It's weird in a really goofy and fun way. Yeah, it's I'm, got I'm like thinking... a, It's got a beaver tail with eyes on it. Come on. And <laughs> I love the Rocket idea staple. that it's... Yeah, I love the idea that its eyes are, clothes, uh, are closed, but its beaver tail eyes are perpetually open, which implies that it sees out of the beaver tail eyes. Yeah, I I'm thinking high tier for Wobbuffet. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely down for that. Right. Girafferig. I've always liked Girafferig a lot. Uh, Girafferig is a homie. I like the idea that it... Okay, so it's supposed His to be kind of like a, a horse on... Yeah, it's supposed to be basically horse on both ends. And the original design was actually literally that. If you look up beta Girafferig. Actually, let me <laughs> like, look like, it up like right now. It's like dog, but horse, horse. Yeah, I mean, the name is literally, it can be, it's a palindrome. Yeah. You can spell it the same way forward and backward. Yeah, here. It is you can go off of the stream for on the a little, side. you can go off stream for just a split second, maybe edit it out, but I want to show you Beta Giraffe Rig. 
Uh, I will pull it up on my phone real quick. I oh, yeah, <laughs> made a so giraffe so dopey. <laughs> it looks like one of those, you know, what's, what's that one fucking meme character? The sn snuffle, a uh, little white uh, guy with the, the big goofy nose. Uh, here's Snuffle. Let me look that up. He, uh, uh, I'm, I, I I'm don't not know. sure who that I, is. I think he's like a British thing. He's like a British cartoon character. Oh, uh, yeah. He I, like I just, I love Giraffe Rig and the idea that uh, his back end is the inverse color scheme. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh,. I would say, here's the thing. I kind, I feel like I like Giraffering's design more than I enjoy looking at it. If that makes any sense. Uh, I will say I'm not sure how. Hmm. There, there is something a little off about it. I'll, I'll concede there. It feels like it could make the concept a lot cooler. Uh, you know, it looks it kind kind of like an alien, which I guess fits because I'm pretty sure it's psychic type. I think what's kind of throwing me off is a little bit of white off the top of his head. I feel like it just should have been all yellow. Yeah, with, with, with the brown spots, yeah. of course, but I, I feel like that one little thing of white's throwing me off. Uh, I'm willing to go high tier on this. <sighs> I was thinking me. Mm, uh, no, really? no, the tail. The no way. The tail saves it. Yeah, the tail saves it. You're right. I'll, right I'll, pine I'll, cone I'll... and. All right. Okay. Fortress is god tier, right? I would not go as far as god tier, but I do really like Fortress. He's so he's a fucking pine cone that becomes a mobile fucking turret. That spins around and shoots his guns everywhere. See, the thing is, if you had asked me when I was young, I probably would have said I disliked Fortress. But with time, he's only grown on me. Where, he, he you know, the more time badass. goes on. The, the thing is, because back in the day, when I was like a, a young kid, I would I only liked Pokemon if they were super adorable. Or if they were, you know, like, conventionally cool. I don't think, uh, you know, despite the whole turret thing, Fortress, if you if you just forget that it, and just focus on its design and what it looks like in an image, it's not conventionally cool. But as I've grown older, I've appreciated the ways in which it is unconventionally cool. I, the, ever since I saw him, you know, shooting shit out of his cannons and spinning around uh, by do, while doing it, I was like, oh my god, he is the coolest fucking thing in the world. I would go top tier. However, uh, fourth time is in fact the charm. <laughs> if you put Meganium in fucking top tier, I'll, I'll go fortress <laughs> god tier. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to come back. Are you it. kidding me? <laughs> Uh, all right, but P Pineco, I, I like. I'd say uh, high tier for Pineco. P high tier, yeah. He's he, that's he's, crazy. He's, he's funny. I guess he's he's just a pine cone with eyes. Fortress yeah, but he's a cool looking clears. pine cone. Yeah, for Fortress does I, I'd clear, go which is why I, I say, uh, no, no, not mid tier. Look, mid -tier, look at everyone in 100. mid tier and look how cool Pineco is. M I don't think he's that cool looking. No, I, I, I like how not, I like his I'd put pines Hobbit on above pine. I put your Flaffy above pine coat. You're, you're fucking me. I like how it hit the pines on him kind of makes the outline of like a mustache. I put Noctowl above pine co. You're fu you're fucking me. No way, bro. Come on, he's hey, pine co. Hey, hey, neon. Hey, if you're willing to raise meganium, <laughs> I'm willing to to make a. I'm willing to compromise for anything. Uh, no. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, uh, Dunsparce though. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have a fun conversation about Dunsparce. Here's the thing, Dunsparce on his own is like not all that memorable. But the internet has made me forever remember him. He will always- he holds a special place in all our hearts. 
Uh, Gen 9 finally did him justice by giving him uh, evolutions. Uh, I think it's done done sparse, right? Yeah, where they, he just gives like more notches in his middle section. Where he's just longer, bigger, done sparse, and I think that's fucking hilarious. I feel like that's Pokemon being in on the joke. And not in like a, it hey, is we're Pokemon. Cool it. I, it, it's like uh, being in on the joke in like a fun way, not like a, uh, hey, get a fellow kids, how, you, how do you do? Okay, yeah, we get it. Like, what if we, what if we made Dunsparce even fucking stupider? See, the thing is, I've always, <laughs> although the idea is funny, I've always felt a little bitter about Dun Dunsparce, even though it is them being on the, it, it, like, in on the joke, just because, ha, all right, have you seen Dun Seraph from Pokemon Uranium? Uh, I have not, but that is a fan game, if so it, Dun it has no bearing. I, I'm aware, but if Dun Seraph was an actual Pokemon, it would be God Tier. And that's let what me, presses me... me about Dun Dun Sparse. Let me look up what Dun Seraph looks like. Dun Seraph is literally so cool. The Dun Seraph Pokemon Uranium, you said? Yep. Dun Seraph. Dual type dragon flying. Let me, uh, if Pokemon Uranium Wiki will load. Ooh, he does look pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not big on the, uh, the droopy little mustache thing he's got going on, but I like everything else. Oh, I, I love I like that the, about him. I love the I, droopy mustache. I, I like the like four a, sets a badass of Chinese dragon. I, I like the four sets of wings he's got with the wing eyebrows and then the actual wings. Here's another thing. Dunsparce should have evolved into Drampa. Like, that would have made complete sense to me. I, I, I kind of guess, but I, I like the... I like the idea that, like, this one kind of looks like he should evolve into something, like, uh, but because he never has until Gen 9 and just evolves into a bigger version of himself, it's like, you know, the ironic idea is, like, you know, they perfected it, but, like, the actual meaning is that he's just so fucking dumb looking, but he's endearingly stupid looking, and that he, See, here's his, the thing. A another, his true another potential will never go further beyond him, but longer. <laughs> Gigantamax dun dun sparse and it's just a million notches. I saw that <laughs> yeah, art on exactly. Google Images and it was a it was beautiful. It, okay, if they had actually done that, uh, I would have been like, oh, dun dun sparse. If we if we got if, if we rank Gigantamax forms in when we get to Gen Eight and they did that instant god tier. <laughs> but as it stands, uh, dun sparse is hard. Because yeah, all of hand, his appeal has come from, like, the meme of, of Dunsparce. Yeah, it's like, on by his lonesome, it'd be, like, mid-tier at best. But because of the meme, it's like, oh, okay. But now I want to rank it super highly. Also, yeah, you, you've referenced Poke Park a lot. I will now reference a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, where Dunsparce is a really actually cool character and has a interesting relationship with uh, Verizian. About, like, you know, wanting to step up and uh, be a hero. I've never played that game, but it sounds peak. Uh, I need to replay it, because I only played it when I was younger. Uh, I'll have to see if it's uh, as mid as the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon community says it is. But when I, when I played it when I was younger, I thought it was really good. Uh, Dunsparce, on the list, I would say... Ah. <sighs> Okay, this, this is the part of the... We've gotten to the point of the list where now we can, like, weigh him against everyone else that we've we've said and listed. I would say... The meme elevates him to high tier. Uh... Yeah, I agree with that. Gligar. It's just lamer Gliscor, but because Gliscor okay. isn't in this gen, it's like, why didn't they give him an evolution? Yeah, Gl Gliscor fucks. He is awesome. Uh, Gligar, not as cool. I like he, he also kind of has like that Dragon Quest Akira Toriyama style to him where he could look like a Dragon Quest enemy, but unlike Golbat, he does look like he belongs in the Pokemon world. I guess the issue is, I don't like the pink. I feel like if they had just taken the Gliscor colors and applied it to and made him per I, I, I like the idea of him going from pink to purple, though. I feel like that's kind of, that makes Gliscor that much cooler. 
Yeah, but I, I, I kind of like the pink on Gligar. Eh. I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. I also go... like how Gligar to Gliscor goes from like this, uh, you know, tongue out, uh, silly looking menace to Gliscor is just like an outright like evil menace. Yeah, I do. That's the thing about Gligar that carries him, which is the idea that he's this sort of tongue in cheek, scrappy, uh, fucking, I don't know, like Pokemon equivalent of a teenage hoodlum that just pulls like pranks yeah, on everyone. Scorpion. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I mean, he also has his big fat tongue out, like he's you know sticking his tongue out at someone after he's just pranked them. I like that aspect of Gligar. So I feel like I that saves say... it from mid for me. I'd go high tier. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I need to look at everyone in top tier and see if he belongs. Okay, it does yeah, not go in top high, tier. High, high, high tiers, right? Yeah, high, high tier is good for him. Steelix though. Steelix is that's awesome. A... That's a top tier if I've ever seen one. I was hoping you'd say god tier just so I could do the Meganium Gambit once again. No, I don't like him that much. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I agree with top tier. Unfortunately, I cannot. Uh... There, you cannot and unfortunately, there's no Meganium today. Gambit. <laughs> uh, the Snubble line. Snubble uh, is ugly. <sighs> okay, I... I don't hate what they did with Snubble. I kind of get what they were going for. They're going for, like, you know, the pug-faced, uh, pit bull kind of dog where, you know, dogs are supposed to be, you know, uh, cute or at the very least, like, you know, huggable and pettable. And, you know, pugs and pit bulls are notoriously kind of ugly looking. Like, they're ugly cute. Uh, this one... I think it's because it's walking on two legs as opposed to four legs that it kind of misses the mark. Because, like, if it if it had the same face but was walking on four legs, then it would be like, oh, okay, I, I get what they're going for. But because it's walking around on two legs like a person, man, it loses the cuteness and leans more into the ugliness of it. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea behind it, where it's this almost mix between you know it's this very girly dog with the the dress and the frill around its neck yeah. and it's you know bright pink but it's also extremely ugly in the face and so i get that idea uh, like that element where oh it's so ugly that it's kind of cute but yeah like you said I, I i think it makes it's not cute enough it needs just a little I, something I extra i don't think it belongs in low tier though i think mid tier is good for it uh, on my lonesome, I probably would have gone low tier, but I'm fine with mid. I won't fight for it super hard. Yeah, but Gr Gramble, we can agree, is better. Because they, they, this is where they just uh, ditched the cute aspect and made them, uh, you know, ferocious. Uh, see, I, I, I will agree he's better, but I don't like him that much either. Because here, let me get a big art of him. I, I like you his know what does. Well, see, so you want to know what does it for me? Or I guess rather mm. what doesn't do it. It's the fact that the teeth are the same color as, uh, as his skin. It's like a skin fang, but for a Pokemon. They should be actual Yeah, but at teeth. least it's a, it's a funny underbite. I like the funny underbite, but it just, it always presses me that they're not white. They're not actual teeth. It's, all I can imagine is like his skin protruding upwards. And it's <laughs> really freaky. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like that he gets uh, bracelets and collars that makes him, uh, you know, more tough and metal. I don't know. I'm I would... still going mid-tier for this one. It's better than Snubble, uh... but not that much better. I would say it, it's like a uh, mid to high tier. I would say a high tier for Grand Bull. Hey. <laughs> Grand Bull hey, hey, fantasy. Hey, hey, guess, guess what? Guess what? Guess what Gambit I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna advertise to you? Well, I don't care about him that much. <laughs> every right. single time I, I maybe we'll get to a pokemon uh we i, I will say we are kind of getting close to some pokemon that maybe i'll have to take your you know uh, game into consideration but uh we're not there quite yet quillfish uh i've always wondered why this guy didn't have an evolution and i'm not sure if he gets any alternate forms in future pokemon games i 
can't remember if he does. I want to say yes, but... I feel like he might have, but I don't actually know. Your Quillfish... Yeah, look, yeah, look up uh, Quillfish absolute. on Bulbapedia, see what that says. Uh, yeah, Bulbapedia. So Quillfish, uh, it has a Hisuian form. And his Hisuian... His Hisuian form is literally just Quillfish, but good. Because normal Quillfish, he, he's fine, but it's not good. He's kind of, he's kind of dorky looking. I don't know he, it, it's he's in this realm of he's almost cool, but he's just kind of dorky. Uh. It's it's the lips. Like the lips are throwing the big pink polywag lips is throwing me off. Yeah, you can't have polywag lips if you're not if you're not polywag, you know? It's like it, it it throws off the, you know, the the green and the yellow of the and his like sp intimidating spikiness, but it's hard to take him seriously when he's got those big pink pussy lips. Yeah, and with Hisuian Quillfish, the thing that makes him better, he has purple mixed into the color scheme and his lips are purple, so it doesn't stick out like it does for Quillfish. Whereas with normal Quillfish, it, it just sticks out like a, store, uh, like a sore thumb. Yeah, th this is going to be weirdly specific, um, but I, I just want to see if you you'll follow me on this tangent. Have you seen the, the first Spongebob movie? No, I have not. I will never fucking mind that. I was I was gonna make a reference to it, but I'm uh, it will go right over your head, so I will not bother. Uh, I would say Quillfit. It it also is in desperate need of an evolution. Yeah. Hmm. I don't. It's not pissed here. I don't think it's quite. Uh, okay, I, I was about to say it's not. I I was about to say it's not quite low tier, but then I'm looking at mid tier. I'm, I'm, I like just kind of lame. In -tier. I I, I, I think like Hop up way. Go I, I like Hop up and Flaffy way more than Quillfish. Yeah, yeah. I think Quillfish got to go in low tier. As sad to say, Caesar. Scissor is so cool. I I prefer Scyther, but Scissor is also cool. I actually prefer Scizor, and we had this conversation in the last tier list as well. Where Scyther, yeah. no, I, I like the blade hands, they are cool. Scizor just looks like he could maul someone to death with his pinchers. Yeah, but like if, if Scyther were to kill me, it would be a very sloppy and bloody. Scizor would, like, fine-tunedly kill me and, like, cut me down, like, uh, ninja samurai style. I'll, I'll yeah, fall into scissor? a bunch of even pieces. Okay, what tier are you thinking for Scizor? Because uh, uh, I, I feel like I don't... I, uh, he's I not because I love, Scyther, wait, I love Scyther more than him. I don't think he's god tier, but I'm, I'm fine with putting Scizor in top tier. I almost want to say god tier, but I feel like it's, it's not quite on the level of, you know, Espeon and Ampharos and, you know, Meganium. I know th two of yeah. those weren't even in god tier because you suck, but <laughs> yeah, top no, tier I, it is. It, yeah, he's he's a top tier boy. Shuckle. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. I, Shuckle is kind of like Dunsparce to me, but like actually really cute. Where it's kind of I think Shuckle's fun. I think Shuckle is funnier than Dunsparce. Same. Like, <laughs> Shuckle is completely useless, and I don't think it's- He has not gotten any still. support since Gen 2, since, since his inception. He's just- his one job, I guess, in theory, is, just, is to just set out spikes. Just set out all <laughs> the spikes, and then leave, and that's it. I fucking it. adore his design. <laughs> He's Shuckle so does stupid. have a really funny design. <laughs> let's, let's get a close up on that. I like the that. idea that he could like pull. I'm imagining him pulling and like his uh little flappy arms and head in and out with like little flop, like wet noodle slappy sounds every time they pop in and out. And oh I'm imagining God, him like hilarious. 
I'm imagining him waddling around with his little fucking dopey legs, like going flap, 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 flap slap, slap. There, I'm, I found official art of Shuckle up. with his mouth open, and I think it, that literally just made Shuckle even cuter. <laughs> uh, Crunchy. I kind of want to put Shuckle in God tier. <laughs> Now okay. hold on. The, the, I would not more go I'm that looking far. At him, the more I'm looking at him, the more I'm being won over. <laughs> okay, listen. Like, he, he's getting hear me every, out. Hear, hear me out, Neon. <laughs> Shuckle and God tier. If Meganium, oh god, but but I don't want to settle for Meganium in top tier if we're putting Shuckle and God tier. I, we are not. Like, I, I like Meganium two tiers. Come on. I really, you don't understand. Like what I, you I feel for Charizard, I feel or for Bayleaf in God tier than Meganium. Chikorita and Bayleaf in God tier. If Shuckle goes in God tier, well, deal I'm or only no going deal. one for one. All right. Well, we're going Bayleaf because I like Bayleaf more than Chikorita. Well, I like Chikorita more than Bayleaf, so I guess. Wait, where would you put Shuckle then? If it were just you. I'd probably go top tier for Shuckle. Okay. Uh, Chikorita, well, I, Chikorita I, wait, hold on. We can put Chikorita and Shuckle in god tier. Uh, I mean, I, I only like sh the idea of Shuckle in god tier because I just think it's funny. I, like, I, think, I, I think the, the idea of him being it. in god tier is funnier than him actually being in god tier. Okay, uh, Drats. But it's okay, we still have more chances to beg and plead for Meganium to be any higher. <laughs> Alright, uh, Heracross. Heracross is really cool. Uh, I like Heracross a lot. Yeah, I... I... I don't quite know if he's god. He's at minimum top tier, because, you know, fucking look how cool he is. I don't think he's god tier. He, he is top tier, though. I do really love Heracross. Yeah. He's just a cool bug. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. Uh, Sneasel, uh, on Sneasel. the other hand, is one of the coolest Pokemon. Oh, definitely. Like, something about Sneasel, like, you can show me, oh, all these, you know, super ornate, legendary Pokemon, but something about Sneasel, man, just kind of outcools them all. There's he's got very claw little... hands. He's got a feather in his cap. Yeah, he's got there's cool just something so on wise. There's just something about uh Sneasel's <laughs> What did you call it? The 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 head kinter or whatever? Negative canthal tilt. <laughs> yeah. I think that no, but but Sneasel I think has a positive one, which is supposed uh. to be really good apparently. So Sneasel has the positive canthal tilt. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure how how uh that's how it's supposed to go. All right. We we vile uh, he's not on this list, but do you like Weavile more or less than Sneasel? I think Weavile's just a little cooler. Like if if Sneasel is, you know, the the scrappy super cool underling, uh Weavile is just like the chief. Weavile Looks like you I, go through the army of Sneasels and then you get to Weavile and it's like the final boss encounter. I, I kind of like Sneasel a little bit more than Weavile, but I would say... Oh, is someone knocking on your door right now? <laughs> I, th I thought I heard no, a I No, I think it was just my chair. Oh, okay. Um, I would put Sneasel in... Uh, I'd go da, top da. tier. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's, he's, he's not quite god tier, but he, he is very cool. Uh, Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa is adorable, and I love him, and then Ursaring happens, and it was like... <laughs> it, it was... You don't like Ursaring? <laughs> no, I don't like Ursaring. Something oh, about he, him. He's, he's he isn't even cool. I like him. I like no, that he I goes really from don't like him. cute little teddy bear Teddy Ursa to would actually kill you in real life no normal bear Ursaring. 
See, the best part of Ursa Ring is the idea that it's like protecting the Teddy Ursas. When you see Ursa Ring protecting Le Teddy Ursa, it all of a sudden gets like fierce mother vibes to me. But when it's just Ursa Ring on their own, it's like, eh, but he's kind of lame actually. Uh, I I I I agree with that somewhat. Yeah, he he is cooler in like the lore of him being like you know super paternal to the Teddy Ursa is very protective. Uh, I I do like Teddy Ursa more. I would put Teddy Ursa in high tier because he's a big cutie, and I want a plush of Teddy Ursa high tier, Ursa Ring mid tier. That's what I would go with. <sighs> I don't like Ursaring enough to fight for him being in high tier, so he can, he can go in mid. That's fine. Slugma nuts. Right. <laughs> Slugma nuts indeed. Uh, Slugma is. I always <sighs> thought Slugma was a Gen three Pokemon. I keep yeah, forgetting kinda, he started. It kind of makes two. sense. Yeah. The thing is, Slugma. I feel like Slugma just didn't really need to exist. I don't think we got anything out of Slugma being the pre-evolution to Mag Cargo. I disagree. I, li I like the idea of him being like little fire snail. Because like the fire snail design by itself is like he's well, he goes from fire slug then to fire snail when he gets the the molten shell. And I do like how the shell is like molten rock. Well, see, I like Mag Cargo a lot. Mag Cargo is awesome. It's just that it's just Slugma that I have the issue with. Where um, I would put. Does McCargo belong in top tier? Uh. Hmm. Uh, let's I don't take a look at who like him quite that much. Yeah, I I'm I'm kind of inclined to agree, but at the same time, I don't think Slugma is exactly mid either. I think Slugma is mid, and McCargo is high. Uh, I guess, yeah, I, I, I don't like Slugma enough to fight for him that much, so that, that's fair. Swinub. Uh, Swinub is a cutie, but not like the ultimate cutie like some of the other Pokemon on this tier list. I, I do like Piloswine a lot, though. Piloswine is, god, probably the best of the entire line. Like, even including, uh... Mamoswine? Yeah, Mamoswine. Even including Mamoswine. I think I, I, I like Mamoswine, but I, de I definitely like Piloswine the most. He, he he's so shaggy. He's just this shaggy uh, mammoth with a humpback. It's super cool. I like. I feel like sitting on top of him and having him like slowly walk me from place to place would be a, a pleasant experience. Oh, dude, that'd be so cool. Uh, Pilo Swine. Like, it, like it would be, it'd be like s slow as shit. I could probably walk there myself faster, but just hit, this, but riding on him while you know, just walking around on a on a nice outside day seems like a fun time. Yeah, but uh, do we want to go high tier or top tier for Pilo Swine? Uh, let me take a look at who's in top tier. Uh. I'm not. I'm not feeling the top tier vibes. I'd say high tier. No, for Pilo Swine. Yeah. All right. High tier feels fine. Swineub goes in mid tier to me. Yeah, I, I agree. Corsola. Corsola just kind of is. I I yeah. don't really have much to say. Also, Corsola feels like a Gen three Pokemon. We've said that a lot of times. Corsola eh, really no, feels no, like no, a Corsola Gen, looks Gen like three Gen two. Pokemon. Cor Corsola looks like Togepi. True, Corsola has the face. I don't know, I've just always gotten Gen 3 vibes from Corsola for some reason. But to be fair, that I might be say... me, like, crossing wires in my brain with the beach zone from Poke Park. I'm but... pretty sure Corsola got a new evolution recently, either in Legends Arceus or da -da -da Gen 9. Yeah, we're on Gen 9. Uh... I don't know, Corsola just, once again, he just kind of is, uh, God, I'm, I'm I... thinking really hard about the tiers, because there's a part of me that wants to even go low, 
just because no, not Ursula... low tier for Corsola. Not low. Corsola is just kind Corsola. of nothing to me. No, at the no, same it's, time, it's, it's, it's a very pleasant. Feel. It's a very pleasant shade of pink. It's got a nice silhouette. It's unmistakable. It's just kind of. I, I would say. Yeah, it's it's, it's a coral. Coral. <laughs> as as they say in SpongeBob. Uh... I mean, I guess we could go mid-tier. I wouldn't be a... I, I don't dislike Corsola enough to fight for low-tier. Yeah, I, I'd i say a uh, mid is fine for Corsola. Uh, Remoraid, though, that's just kind of a fish, isn't it? You want to talk about a Pokemon See, that just is? So, the the thing with Remoraid... Because Rem Remoraid on his own is kind of stupid... And the fact that they don't go all in on the gun thing is so silly. Like, Remoraid is supposed to be the gunfish Pokemon. Dude, it- it- he is? What- what part of it is a gun? Like, wait, I get that the- the stripe- Yeah, wait, wait is there- like, to... is there an actual fish in real life called the gunfish, or is it, like, supposed to no, be a gun No, it's supposed fish. to be a mixture of a gun and a fish, because Oct- Where? Octillery is a mixture of octopus and artillery. So the part that is supposed to well, it's also stupid it, that a fish evolves into an octopus. I've actually always loved that. It's such a nonsensical evolution that it loops back on itself to become really funny to me. Uh, nah, I disagree. I think I think it's kind of I think it's just dumb, dumb. Not not even like fun, dumb. But yeah, the parts that are supposed to be gun. Are the stripes on it, which are supposed to look like the barrel, not the barrel, the the part where you put in the uh, rounds. I you can tell I don't know my gun. Is stuff it supposed very to be well. like a revolver specifically? Yeah, revolver. Because that's so I think that's, that's where the, the rev from Remoraid comes from. Yeah, the chamber, and then the line is supposed okay. to also give that vibe, but it doesn't really reflect it. No, it looks like a fucking all. fish. It doesn't. It it looks like a fucking fish. <laughs> Uh, I I'd go low tier for this. Yeah, it's so nothing. Yeah, artillery though, a little cooler. I'd put artillery in high, high tier. tier. Yeah, yeah, high high tier. We got the Delibird. Santa Owl. Deli Bird is just jolly. He's just so jolly. I like. And for being such a Delibird jolly what? fellow, I I'd also go high tier for Deli Bird. He's just a jolly fella. I agree. Mantine. So you're you're putting this in God tier, right? <laughs> because... uh, no, actually, <laughs> I like I like I modeled my my avatar after Mantike more. True, and Mantike is the better version. Yeah, uh, yeah, one thousand percent. I like Mantine... the lore of it having Remoraid uh underneath it as like a symbiotic relationship. That's the only lick of personality it has, I feel. Otherwise, I'm it, it, it's just kind of a manta. It's got the little bead eyes which are kind of cute. But otherwise, yeah, you yeah, just kind I, of yeah, it's another is better just kind of is way. Pokemon. I'd go honestly mid tier for this one. I kind of want to put it in high just for the like the cool little bit about the symbiotic relationship, but I'm not I'm not, you know, I'm not go go gooning for it or anything. I'm I'm fine with it being in mid tier. Skarmory, Skarmory is unbelievably though. cool. It's a st it's a metal bird. How do you it it, it 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 was born having sex. It came out the pussy <laughs> having sex. <laughs> Skarmory. Oh god. I mean, it's at least top tier. We can all agree on that. But is it? Uh, yeah, is yeah. It bare bare god minimum tier. top tier. Is it god tier? I think there's a really good case to be made that it's god tier. I say let's keep it in top for now and we'll reopen that case when we're at the end of the list. Like I we, think we that do is need a to fine fill way out the to god do it. Tier. We, we do need to fill out the god tier a little more. With Meganium. <laughs> yeah, in your dreams. Uh, Houndour and Houndoom. I'm not the biggest Houndour fan, but Houndoom is pretty cool. They're also apparently weak, comically I, weak Pokemon, which I, I find yes. funny considering how fierce they look. Yeah, H Houndoom looks fucking badass. Like, it looks like a, like, devil dog from hell. Whereas Houndor is just like, yeah, yeah, he he's fine. 
uh, Growlithe is cooler. Uh, but like you, you see the the vision. Yeah, I see the vision. I'd still go Houndoom mid tier, but I I'd go Houndoom probably high tier. I uh, does does Houndoom have a shot in top tier? I mean, I'd be willing to go Houndoom top tier if we put Meganium in top tier. <laughs> I, no, I, I was genuinely asking if like you if you thought he had like a shot at top tier. No, I I <laughs> mean, I personally don't side. think he has a single chance. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, Kingdra. Kingdra. Am I tripping? Was is... that is that not a Gen One Pokemon? <laughs> uh. Yeah, it isn't because it's the second dragon type. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. okay. Well, I I thought it was Gen One the whole time, huh? But Cedra is the best of the horsey line. Uh, easily, I like its design. I think it's pretty cool, but I'd go no higher than high tier. I agree. Fanfi, Fanfi's cute. Fanfi is adorable. Uh, I like the color palette, and I love. Uh, I love the little yeah, bandage. Yeah, I, I, around I love his nose. everything. It, it, it get the the, the though it sells it is the bandage around the nose. That that's so much personality. That is that is the cool. That that is the coolest, cutest thing. He he doesn't have like the same kind of sauce as the top tiers, but easy high tier. Easy high tier, yeah. Don okay. fan on the other. Don hand. fan goes in god tier. I will hear no arguments. Well, you're gonna hear an argument, unless you put Meganium in top tier. <laughs> Come on, you know you you would put Don Fan in God tier regardless. Come on, I would don't put I would put yourself. I would unironically put Don Fan in top tier because I although he's I he's so love, fucking cool. He is super cool, but I he's don't think he's quite with God tusks, tier. But to me. also, if he is I like a wheel he can... and he rolls around in a wheel. And fucking slams into you or impales you with his tusks. See, that's cool and all, but I—I I mean, if I'm thinking about the uh, about ground types that roll into balls and can slash you to death, I just think Sand Slash. No, nope, Sand nope, Slash Dawn is fans cooler. cooler to Dawn me. Fans cooler. Nope, no, nope, Sand Dawn Slash fans is cooler. Sand Slash. Nope. But listen, <laughs> wrong, I would put it in wrong. top tier, and I'm willing. I'm willing to hear out God if you put Meganium in top tier as well. All right, I'm putting this my foot is down. the one. All right, this is the one exception that I will make. I will put Meganium in top tier is if a Don fan Let's goes. Let's go. That that is the the hill I'm willing to die on. Okay. At long last, is this Porygon two or Porygon Z? This is Porygon this two, two, right? Okay. Yep. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> I uh I have mixed feelings because on the one hand it looks kind of dorky but on the other hand uh I do like the idea that you have the original Porygon it's like this rough N64 3D model and then you go to Porygon 2 and it's it's upgraded to GameCube graphics it's smooth now so that is funny to me and I feel like that saves it I like that it looks like a funny stupid duck. That is it. It, lo it looks like an or like a like something that Hugh Neutron would have up on his uh, duck shelf. I mean, I would go no higher than mid, honestly. But I still like uh, the the I, I think he's really dumb graphics looking, element though. of it. No, I I I, 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 willing... hate, I hate that they got rid of the the uh, you know the angular polygon nature of Porygon and. Yo, know, I'm not too big into Porygon Z either, but at least you know, they made him look like a weird alien dude. He he, he just looks like a stupid duck. Like you, he doesn't even look like he could belong in the Porygon line. He looks like he could have been like a water type. He does not. No, he he completely fits the Porygon line. I don't know what you're going on about. Nah, the I, idea I, of I Porygon just, as the computer duck. He's <laughs> he's now got the the fucking angle smoothed out. Because computers got better, and graphics processing improved. Like, come on, that makes complete sense. We're going mid-tier on this one. Okay, I, I was gonna put him in low, but that that that's fine. 
Stantler. Uh, but we can all double agree cheeked Stantler's up on a Tuesday. Stupid. <laughs> we can all agree that Stantler is completely stupid and should go in, in my opinion, low tier. Uh, why low tier? I don't hate him that much. He's just a deer with a he's giant got a big ass. Goofy nose. <laughs> he's, he's got a dumpy. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's just he's just dumb looking. No, he's got he's cool just... looking antlers. I like that they look like little weird uh you know, things that you put on like a staff. At the, like a, a weird like like tribal staff. No, I I'm gonna hard gun for Stantler and low tier because I think it is just it's just so lame. It's just a deer. I guess he's got All berries right, on his antlers but that's like the most interesting thing about him all right here's my reverse meganium gambit we can put stantler in low tier if we put meganium into my tier oh, oh well i'm not, i'm not <laughs> moving on that so sure we can put it in mid tier <laughs> okay now I'll, I'll i'll be fine with i i'll uh, i won't lose sleep about him being in low tier i do think he is the best of all the low tiers you know well, except for maybe lady in, in a vacuum Smeargle. Uh, I wouldn't even go that far. But yeah, Smeargle. I like Smeargle. He can use every move. And he's an artiste. Uh, his his tail being a, a cool paintbrush dog and him having an artist cap kind of as his head is very charming. Yeah. I'd go, I'd go high tier for Smeer, uh, Smeargle. Agreed. Tyrogue and hit him on top. I've never liked Tyrogue. Yeah, he he's got the like the high school wrestler persona going on, and you want to know what uh, does it for he... me? You want to know what the issue is? The pink. The pink is so hideous. It's not the worst shade of pink, but yeah, it is not doing it many favors. I feel like if it was the same color as the other Hitmons, it would be infinitely better. But you, you, what if they reverse the colors? What if he had like brownish skin and uh, pink shorts and shoes? Well, then it'd literally be the same color palette as Hitmonchan, and Hitmonchan has a fine color palette, so there you go. Like, the pink I'm... should be the accent, not the primary color. I don't think Tyrogue needs to exist. Like, that was a, a pre evolution we did not need. Yeah. I, I can sort of see that. Uh, although, actually, no, I'm going to disagree there. I like the idea of the fighter that, oh, he can train into all these different styles. And one of them is, like, spinning on your head like a top for some reason. But, yeah, fucking you know, capo, it's kind of like, cool. Extreme capoeira. Uh, but, like, uh, is he I, mid I enjoy or low that tier? about him. I think he's mid. I, I wouldn't go as far as low tier, even though I hate the colors. Just the idea that he he's, like, this... Fresh ca blank canvas that can tr turn into all these fighting styles. I like that about him. Okay, I'm I'm willing to agree with that. Hitmon top. Uh, I like Hitmon top a lot. Well, no, I wouldn't say a lot. I meant to say not very much. I like him but... more than Hitmon Lee. Uh, not as much as Hitmon Chan though. I. I think I like him the most out of all the Hitmons, but I'm also not a huge fan of the Hitmon line in general. Where... I, I do like that he spins around on his head like a top and just kicks people with his feet capoeira style. Here, there was this beta Hitmon top that I saw somewhere. Let me see if I can... Because it was a mixture of Cleffa and Hitmon top that I actually kind of liked. Uh... Okay, here here it is. I like it, it but it totally doesn't look like a Pokemon now, now that I'm looking at it again. Uh, I'll send it in hosts only if you care to look. Oh, that is hideous. I, ha I hate that it has six feet. I like it, but it's not really... A, it doesn't look like a Pokemon to me. So yeah, it, it looks yeah, worse no. uh, in reality than it did in my head. Yeah, no, this is the, thank God we had this version. Uh... Refresh my memory, is that a third foot or is that a tail? It is a tail. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was a tail. Uh, I would put him on top in high tier. I agree. 
Hit him on top and high tier is completely fine. Uh, Smoochum is the less bad Jinx, but it's still not very good. Yeah, I would say it is a little kind of cute. It's just, you know, I've, I maybe the thing holding me back is the mental knowledge that it's going to turn into Jinx. Yeah. It's like... But just taking oh it on its own... It's not as bad looking as uh, Iggly Buff, and you know, better, actually better than its counterpart that it evolves into. I'd put Smoochum in a low tier. Yeah, I, I'm. I was trying to like rationalize uh, an argument for mid, but uh, knowing what's gonna turn into, I think it's fair to put it in low tier. I do like Elekid though. Uh, I'm not sure how hot of a take this is. I have never been a big fan of Elekid or Magby. I think uh, they... Not... I like Elekid more than Magby. I agree with that much. I think Magby is just kinda... kinda ugly, honestly. But uh, Elekid... Well, to be fair, it's I... not like Magmar is a looker. Yeah, but Mag Magmar's butt forehead is actually funny to me. Whereas Magby is just kinda... Kind of whatever. Yeah, a bulbous. He's got a, he's got weird tumors on his head. Yeah, I'd put Mag Magby in low tier, Elekid mid tier. I agree with the Magby take. Elekid in mid. Yeah, I I, I, get I like that he's I, kind mm, of cool, but it, it's he, not he's got a plug for a head. Nah, I don't, and, and I don't he's got think personality. He's that good. I, I would put him in high tier. I would go mid. Now look look at him. He's he, he's got the plug walk literal literal plug walk. Now I'm still thinking mid. Uh, I'm not budging on this. Okay, we can maybe maybe we can reopen that case later. Uh, Mill Tank, the devil himself. You know, I feel like the, the the aura around Whitney's Mill Tank is most of what's carrying the Pokemon to me, because in a vacuum, Mil I don't like Mill Tank that much. But the fact yeah, that Mil Whitney has, only has one and it's the Destroyer. Because, yeah, he is the Destroyer of Worlds in early on Gen Two playthroughs. But uh, outside outside of that, he's got like nothing going on to him outside of the lore that you know Mill Tank Milk, but like no no shit Sherlock. Yeah, I. Hmm. Is I'm it thinking mid, mid or high. I if, if you took away the high, but... if you took away Whitney, it would be it's a nothing burger. I would say mid. True. Yeah, I would literally turn. I think it into mid a is fair. Burger. Blissey is Blissey. worse. Worse chancy. Agreed. Uh, it's not. It's not a massive downgrade, but it's uh they. Didn't we didn't need an evolution for Chansey? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm thinking mid tier once again. Agreed. Okay, now we're getting into the legendary dogs. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're at all the legendaries and pseudo legendaries. So, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're not doing the mega forms, by the way. This this list had yeah, mega this forms is and... that's completely lame. Yeah, but yeah, we'll do those in Gen Six. So yeah, the, the, Raikou, the gens that they debuted in. So Raikou, Raikou, whatever. Uh of the three, he's the one that I would put smack a dab in the middle, in terms of how much I like them. Uh, I like Suicune the most. A agreed completely. Because he, he's got is like a regal sense of regal and cool. To him. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why they chose him for Crystal version. Yeah, where, whereas Raikou and Entei kind of have interchangeable, rough, gruff-looking dog aesthetics. Yeah, Raikou, I'd put in... Hmm. I'd put Raikou and Entei in high tier. I agree. And then Suicune can go on top. I agree with that as well. All right, the Larvitar line. All right, so, so can, can, are we going to agree that Tyranitar is god tier right off the bat? No, no, I think it goes in top tier. I I would you rather put Skarmory in god. I would rather put Skarmory in god tier. 
that that's crazy. Tyranitar is cool, but Skarmory is like God, sleek, he, he is, cool. He's like he's literally Pokemon Godzilla. I, I love how Pokemon angular and, and pointy he is. He's cool, but he's not that cool. Like when I think about, I will God say I only bring this up just because I'm looking at him, and we're not gonna rank him on this list. But they went too far with Mega Tyranitar. What the fuck were they thinking? Dude, there are there are some later designs that are so over designs. Like once the random side tangent. I, I love okay, how okay, in the oh, early... oh, actually, Meg, Meg. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, Mega Ampharos. If this is if this is what Ampharos looked like uh, by base form, I would agree to put in God tier. I I I prefer Mega Ampharos's look. The only thing I don't like about Mega Ampharos, and you can't see it very well, the curled ears. I don't think look very good. But everything else about Mega Ampharos, I love. Yeah, but uh, uh... ah, Tyrantor is so fucking cool though. He's cool, but he, he's not God. When he shoots his hyper beam out his mouth, and he's like fucking like Godzilla atomic breath. All right. Hmm. Which of the Pokemon that are in top tier that I wanted to put in God tier do I have the best chance of getting up there if I agree to well, Tyranitar? I'll, I'll tell God you right tier. now, Meganium's not going any higher than top tier because I would have put him in mid. I mean, I hate you for that on a deeply personal level, but I, I understand <laughs> that sometimes, sometimes people around you are just wrong and you just have to let them be wrong and live with their choices. And, uh, you know think that maybe someday they'll come around to the right side. Uh, of everyone in top tier, I would, uh, let's see, let me, let me take a look at, like, who would, uh, we, well, I guess this is one who, who you would most want to put in god tier. Yeah, so of the ones that I would put in god tier that you did not want to would be Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium, Kulava, Typhlosion, and Espeon. Uh... I am fine with putting Chikorita in God tier. All right, uh, we can we can do the the double decker scrimblow gambit to get Tyranitar and Chikorita in God tier. Yeah. Uh, Larvitar is in top tier. Uh Hmm. I'd put him in high tier, but I'm fine with him being in uh, top tier. I would not fight. Look! Too look, long. look how fucking cool he looks. Look he at the look cool. that he's giving you right now. He's a cool scrappy boy. Yeah, he he he's got that top tier energy swagger. And Pupitar is It it's a cool looking uh with a, See, I'm what I've always liked what? about Pupitar uh like, like what I like about it is more so the idea than the design where this yeah. this final form is so cool that it needs to incubate in a in a chrysalis. Yeah, I, I'd say Pupitar's high tier. I agree. I feel like the concept saves him from mid tier. Yeah, because you know you you go through the you know it's it's a cool edgy looking uh incubation like little cocoon thing, and then it, what emerges is you know Go Gojira. Also, what I find hilarious is that. In Gen 2, there ain't no way you're getting a, a fucking Larvitar all the way up to Tyranitar before the Elite Four, because the level curve oh, yeah. in that game is so fucked. Yeah. What what level do you need to evolve Pupitar into Tyranitar again? I don't know, like level 55, 60, something like that? Here. Fucking wild. Tyranitar level to evolve. Yeah, level 55, which is crazy. Wild. Le level 50 evolutions are insane. Alright, now we're on to the final three. You got the box arts. Uh, Lugia and Ho-Oh. Who do you prefer between the two? Lugia easily. I've always been a uh, Lugia agreed. bro. Agreed. Agreed. I bought Soul Silver. Lugia is uh, cool. got a cooler design. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I think Lugia is at least top tier, and I think you agree with me there. But is he yes. god tier? Is he god? Let me set a sl let's slap him in top tier for right now. Because he, he has always been one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. I 
don't quite know if he has god tier sauce. Because I there are legendary. You know what, now that, that I, I like think about it, him. like I, I feel like I'd put once again Skarmory in god tier before Lugia. So Agreed. I feel like Agreed. he might be lacking the sauce. Yeah, I feel the top tier is a good spot for him, whereas Ho can go in high tier. Uh yeah, just for the sake of him not being in the same tier as Lugia. But I also think that Ho might have top tier sauce. I don't necessarily disagree. I much prefer Lugia to Ho but I, I don't dislike Ho I I get that it's supposed to be kind of like the Phoenix, uh, in the more Chinese or uh, Japanese sense of the word, but you know, or more of an the Asian depiction of the Phoenix, but. Uh, I don't feel like he fully encapsulates that in his design. You know what he's lacking? The regalness. Uh, no, well, he, also he looks, fire. Yeah, if, if, he had a, if he had a trail of fire behind him, easy top tier, maybe even god tier. Yeah, but like, I don't know. He, he's just, la I feel like he's lacking a bit of the sauce, uh, so to speak. Yeah. I, I feel like high tier is a good spot for him. And finally, we have Celebi. Okay. Is Celebi cute enough to go in God tier? I, I would make a case for God tier Celebi. I really do. I'm I glad you said adorable. that off the bat because I thought I was going to have to start debating you on this one. I've always loved the cute little fairy Pokemon. The Celebi, Jirachi, Diancie, and Victini. Well, what a lot of my Celebi love comes from the the Pokemon movie that uh, Celebi's in. Uh, I'll have to send you the clip because I, I'm I'm pretty sure I've sent it, sent it to you before, but it's fucking adorable. It's the one where Celebi in the movie is like flying around the forest with Ash and uh, finds a little berry on a tree, uh, sna snaps it off, eats it, and is, and then fucking like shakes its head back and forth in absolute jubilation, going beep 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 beep. And so it's the fucking I it was the fucking cutest thing in the world. See, I've actually seen the movie, but it's been so long that I can't recall specific scenes from it. Other than I'm pretty sure Celebi starts like drying up for whatever the oh, plot yeah, was. Oh yeah, it's like, that fucking movie. sad. Like Celebi's fucking dying. Yeah, so I I'd have to rewatch it to get a clear image of it in my brain. But I think Celebi in God Tier is completely justified. Yes. All right. That that's everyone from Gen Two proper. Now it's uh, we take a, a little look, see a little look over, see if we need to move anyone up or down. I mean, obviously, you know, there's there's a, a few Pokemon, a few green Pokemon that should be higher. You're right. But... You're absolutely right. Larvitar should be god tier. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, see. I feel like we have enough room for one more god tier Pokemon. I feel like I'm I'm willing to put Skarmory in top in god tier if you are. I am willing to put Skarmory in god tier, even though there are like five Pokemon I'd put above it in god tier. But you know, you're you're being a little bitch and not putting them in there. So <laughs> I guess I'll settle for Skarmory. Uh, I, I, we, well, I would sooner put Fortress in God Tier than Skarmory, but, uh, I think Skarmory's gonna be the best, uh, common ground we'll, we'll fall upon. Alright, that is the official Gen 2 Pokemon tier list, unless there are any last minute changes. Uh, hey, let, let's look at the bottom, let's see, uh, how many... Do we have room for one more piss tier? Uh, I don't necessarily it's... hate any of these Pokemon enough to be piss tier. Yeah, like even uh, of all the ones down there, I think Smoochum would be the most likely. But Smoochum is still kind of cute. And so it's yeah, like, it's, eh. it's got a little sass to it. Yeah, so uh... I, I don't think there's anyone... That would really belong in Piss tier. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, everyone in mid uh, looks like that's where they belong. I I would like Pineco to be in high tier, but I'm, I won't lose sleep over it. He was the, 
If we if we could move one from mid tier to high tier, I would choose Pine. Cove. I'm losing sleep over the Meganium thing, but you know, some people <laughs> what, you gotta let them be wrong. If you like Meganium, <laughs> comment it below. Make sure I'm not alone. And if you hate Meganium, <laughs> let... shut up. You're wrong. <laughs> Do, don't comment. Don't share your opinion. You're not in a safe space. <laughs> uh, Meganium haters are not in a safe space. Is there anyone in high tier that maybe needs to go higher or lower? Uh, uh, the only one I can think of is Crobat, but I know you'll, I know you're not going nah, to. Nah, I would put that. Crobat in lower. I would put Crobat in mid. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Of any, let me let me think of who I would most want to move up and most want to move down, and we'll we'll go off of that. I, I mean, I already know I who I want to most move up. Of uh, in in high tier. Oh well, in high tier, no, I don't. Yeah, know yeah. Pick out two Pokemon: one that you would most want to move up to top tier, and one that you would most want to move down to mid tier if you had to. If I had to, well, Slow King, I would be most willing to move down. I think. Uh, I would say willing to move up the most. I would say Houndoom. Let me take one more look over at I'm this. I'm not Wait. letting you move Houndoom up. He is not nearly that cool. He's cool, Ma but maybe... he doesn't have the top tier sauce. He kind of does. He doesn't have the top tier sauce. Uh, may maybe, if not uh, Houndoom, maybe Crocona, but... Croconut doesn't have the top tier sauce either. I, Houndoom has more of the sauce than Croconut does. I'll agree with you there, but I also don't think Houndoom has the sauce. So I think Pyloswine has a better argument for having the top tier sauce. Because Pyloswine is just a Togepi cool dude. Does Togepi have top tier sauce? I don't now think that Togepi quite said and done. has Togepi. Or quite has top tier sauce, rather. Uh, I feel like Pyloswine is the one I'd be most willing to put up there. Uh. Okay. What about moving down? Did you, did you say Slow King? Yeah, either Slow King. I'm trying to see if there's any others. I guess. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably actually move Pupitar down before Slow King, but I don't necessarily want to move Pupitar down. Hey, from, from from the sounds of it, looks like we're gonna be at a stalemate either way. So I I guess high tier will remain as it is. Um, uh, let's see. We've, we've we've got eight uh god tiers. Could there be room for maybe two more? Have a nice even ten. Well, obviously, uh, Meganium and Quilava. If I had to choose two, but I know you're wrong yeah, about from at least everyone one on this list. Yeah. Well, actually, Meganium, actually not Quilava. If I had to literally just choose two, it'd be Meganium and Espeon. Okay, let, let me look at top tier real quick. If I had to take these two and put them into god tier, I would say definitely Fortress. And... Let me see. Mm... <sighs> For Alligator's cool, but he's not that cool. Uh... Fortress and honestly, <laughs> mate, <may> shuckle <laughs> for the for the joke. But if uh, I'm I'm m most serious about fortress. So what you you know you want to uh, know what we can do? We both choose a Pokemon to move up into. <laughs> well, I know you're gonna say no because I'll just move up Meganium, but <laughs> but we well, each choose no, one I, I would, candidate. I, well, we we agree. You agreed to put Fortress into top tier initially, though, right? Uh yeah, I agreed to that. Yeah, so I I put I would put Meganium in mid, so that that originally bounced out to high, and we negotiated to top tier. So Meganium is not allowed to go any higher than top tier. Listen, to be fair, there is no exact halfway point between mid tier and god tier, and so top tier could have been the compromise, and then god tier could have been the moving up. If you think about it. 
I like all of the Pokemon in top tier more than Meganium. Meganium's on there purely because of you and your Meganium Gambit with Don Pan. <laughs> Listen, the Meganium Gambit did work out at long last. But if you're not accepting Meganium, I would try to put Espeon on there as a, as a last resort. I am fine with Espeon being god tier. Mm hmm. Espeon See, I'm only so saying spooky. that because I'm I would I'm I'm only saying I don't truly mean that in my heart of hearts. I'm only saying that because I, I want to see Fortress in God tier. But if it's just this, I I think I you know what? I think the list is fine as is, because then we'd have we'd have uh we then we'd have to move then my OCD would want us to move someone from high tier into top tier so we can have an even three lines in high tier. So you know what? The list is fine as is. We can have eight. God tears. All right. So, how how long was that recording? That was two and a half yeah. hours. About two that and a half hours. Yeah. So that did not feel yeah, like that, two and a half hours. It it felt shorter, but uh, yeah. Hey, you the, get you I'd get say... lost in the sauce when you're talking about Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, would you say the overall designs of this gen was better or worse than Gen One? definitely better than gen one i am i am a joe toddler and looking at this list just reinforced it for me i love the designs of this gen gen 2 i, I feel like is the the perfection of the ken sugimori style uh i'd have to uh weigh this against the gen 1 tier list that we made uh which i can't really do right now because i got all this shit pulled up that i need to record uh but I would say, uh, definitely, this uh, generation has a lot more hits than misses. Yeah, I mean, you can well, see I don't... how, uh, like, high tier is the largest tier. Yeah, we've got we've got a nice distribution of uh, the the lower tier Pokemon. Like, low tier didn't even go past one whole line, and we only, and we yeah, only crazy. have two shitters. So overall, really good gen. And uh, let's see if it holds up for Gen 3. Next time, probably in, like, I, a month from now. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think, does Gen 3 have a sh piss tier Pokemon? It probably does. There's probably just not one we're thinking of. Uh, here, Gen 3 Pokemon. I'm just gonna briefly well, peruse the list. I won't spoil anything, but I'll just see if there's any I'd give piss tier to. Uh... I'm not seeing any. There's some stinkers, but not any pissers. <laughs> that that is the mark that we're measuring them by. Uh, uh, that that one has a little bit of charm, though. Uh, okay, that one might actually have a shot. Uh, but it has a little bit of uniqueness. Yeah, there's well, like we'll, not any. We'll get to it in like a month or so. Yeah, right now, just judging from the preview, it doesn't seem like there'll be any. Although I could be yeah, convinced so. of a couple. Alright, well, that'll do her for this episode of Castaway Anyway. Yep, I guess these are technically Castaway Anyway episodes, which I always forget, which is why I didn't mention it in the intro. Ah, uh, well, they, all, all that really matters for this one is the label. That's why it's the, it's anyway. So, yeah, with all that being said, uh, subscribe to the main channel, both Neon Manta and Crunchy Bagels were both awesome. Neon might, Neon said he would watch all of Monogatari if he didn't upload in March. I will not let him forget that. I, I'm, I'm going to hold myself to that. I'm going to be honor bound to that. So I'll, I'll push myself. For harder than I've ever pushed myself before. Yeah, come on, be like me. Pull the twenty-hour work day for some insane reason. Well, that's gonna be harder for me because you know now I have a full-time job. <laughs> oh, you got a full-time job? D did I not tell you that I got the the full-time job? No, you didn't. Uh, grats though. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I said in the group chat. I said full-time job acquired. The which getting a video out is gonna be even more impossible. <laughs> All right, well... The, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, I, I was going to say, then you responded to it. I forget what exactly you said. I think it was something, maybe it's something along the lines of, it's so Jover bros. 
Uh, okay, now that you've mentioned that, I do actually remember it. Yeah, start so, next week. Nice. Uh, so yeah, don't count on the Neon Man to upload, but do count on the Monogatari full watch. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll find a way to turn it into content. <laughs> It'll probably have to be a castaway anime. Let's be real. And uh, maybe not. Uh, it could. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll definitely hold myself to the promise. All right. So either that or get a full channel video out. Let's hope it's... Well, I mean, there's a part of me that wants you to watch Monogatari. But realistically, I just want you to upload at this point. Oh, duh. I, I will in March. So with that, right. thanks for tuning in. And see you next time.